Zero Carbs beer is here. Introducing Bud Light next. Zero Carbs, 80 calories. Super crisp light beer. Bud Light next. Brew for what's next. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Georgia Watch Along Show. My name is Rodney DeBolsey. I'm joined by former Georgia Bulldogs head coach Jim Dunn. And to my right and behind me is Dane Young, our technical uh, producer slash commentator slash clock aficionado who's going to make sure that you are synced up to this game. We appreciate you joining us. This is a second uh, screen experience. Basically, watch the game on your big TV or however you like to and just have us on your laptop or your phone or your tablet. Uh, George is about to kick off here. We will try to keep you, keep everything synced up. The, the uh, captains are meeting at midfield. We'll find out who's going to who won the toss. Apparently, Georgia will be defending or receiving in the west end zone. So we saw that. And, There's uh, the super senior Stetson Bennett. Yep. Uh, Stetson Bennett finishing up. He got here in 2017. It's 2022. I thought you were going to say 27 years ago. <laughs> it felt like it. He is 25 years old. He came to high school as a 19-year-old. and um, So, Coach, I uh, know you've been battling some bugs, but we're glad you made it back. It a Herculean effort, folks. You don't understand how hard it was for Coach to get ready for this game. He is a – he. It's Georgia, Georgia Tech. Coach is playing hurt. He's going to come through. But this Coach, is MJ's flu game. Yeah, this is, this is Coach's flu game. This is the Michael Jordan flu game. Coach is here ready to kick some ass. Coach, give us your thoughts on this one. Yeah, I just think uh, one of these things where you just got to take care of business uh, type games that, you know, Georgia Tech's going to give you their best shot. I mean, a big win last week over North Carolina, and they really are always uh, playing – uh, like their hat, hats on fire when they play Georgia. Um, you never can, all oh, you know, just throw out the record. I mean, you can throw out the record books, and you never can take anything for granted. But uh, I think Georgia just got too much at stake here, uh, too much uh, on the table as far as uh, cementing a, a playoff bid, as far as two straight years of a perfect record. How many times? How many? How many teams can can say they did that? Uh, and just uh, the legend of Stetson Bennett. I mean, uh, he he's got a chance with a win today to have thirteen and O record as a starting quarterback in Sanford Stadium. And uh, I just think kids should be relaxed, go out there and ball out and give them their best shot. So uh, we got beautiful. Weather that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, uh, I would say this to everybody. Uh, I've had every kind of COVID shot. I've had every kind of flu shot. I've had, I've done everything that they told me to. And I promise you, I've had COVID before. I don't have it now. I got tested. But this flu that I've had this week is uh, beyond anything I can tell you I've ever had. So get I would have hated to see what happened to him if I hadn't had the <laughs> shot. But uh, just go for it and take care of yourself. And yeah. uh, just be glad you got medicine. That's yeah. These meds kept going. But I don't want any more sympathy except uh, I'm not giving tech any it's right It's always now. about coach. It's I just want to see. You. <laughs> yeah. I want to see Georgia come out there and uh, attack. Uh, I like the fact we're going on defense first. A tech's going to give you a two-pronged quarterback attack. They got two different guys. One's more of a runner, although both can run. But uh, 17's more of the runner, and this guy here is more of a passer. All right, there's the first snap. Very Pretty successful good movement run there. right up the middle. Nine yards, ten yards. Woo. Gibson, uh, actually their third quarterback on the year, uh, Played at Akron and uh, really kind of a game manager type, but he, he can run just good enough. But uh, well, they pick I'll tell you one interesting aspect of this Georgia Tech attack, Chip Long as their offensive coordinator was the guy that was the uh, – just another missed tackle here. Was the offensive coordinator for Notre Dame when we played in there, which they used tight end. Remember the game that played at night? He's a tight end a lot over the middle against us. And Jim Chaney, who was our coordinator for a couple of years, is an analyst there. And he knows Kirby's defense inside and out. So kind of interesting to see what they feel like they can do against this Georgia defense as far as 
attack him. The different looks we got. We had two rushes for 18 yards, so let's see if Jordan. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dangerous throw there, Coach. Was that... What was good there is we showed them a look there where we were going to bring the corner in, and uh, he, he faked it, and he threw it right into him. Yeah. Roddy, we had heard a lot this week, even from Kirby Smart talking about the importance of coaching at the school that you went to with Kirby Smart obviously doing it at Georgia, but then Brent Key being a Georgia Tech guy. What all do you know about Brent Key? What do you remember about him from his playing days at Georgia Tech? What I remember? Very little. I was I was a wee tot. <laughs> I actually did cover uh, just a guy who loves his team as much as Kirby loves his. I mean, he's uh, he's always mentioned in coaching circles, coaching uh, – it pops up all the time. He's very well respected in the industry. Coach, you know more about it than I do. But yeah, I mean, he's an absolute you know, he monster has a, for his team. He has a, he's got the team playing hard. Yeah. I mean, they, they've come back and have a lot more physical team. They're better on special teams. Their defense has settled down. Cut down on penalties. And uh, really, one of the best teams in the country turning the ball, other team turning the ball over to them. So, uh, this is a, kind of a statement here, the way they're moving the ball on our defense. And uh, I got a we, quick – wow. It's going to be a first down Georgia Tech. That's that Kent State play. Throw it over there and run it right up the sideline. Well, the thing that hurts us there was Ringo lost his helmet on the play before and that corner did nothing there. Uh, mm -hmm. It was an interesting scenario for Brent Key starting out at uh, – was an offensive line coach at Alabama, and then he left to come to Tech with Collins, which was, you know, I guess kind of a surprising move. Some people say he was – Nick told him to get, leave, yeah. but you never know. I mean, but he's sure done a good job at Tech. 12.42 here in the first quarter. Double move. Got him. Very fortunate there. Yeah. I like their plan so far. I mean, they they threw a couple balls into the boundary to make you think that you're going to throw the – and then they ran a double move here and uh, working on Bullard. Bullard's played good on the run, but the last two weeks has given up a touchdown pass, both in the red zone, one against uh, Mississippi State on a kind of web route and then a pick route against Kentucky last week. Uh He's the guy on our defense to really go after. Both safeties are rated very highly. Uh, both corners the same. There you go. Let That's them. it. I'd say they're in a four-down zone here. Uh, playing on the road against the number one team in the country. You got the ball on their side of the 40. You made three first downs. That brace on Ringo's arm. I don't know that I've noticed that. Is that new? It's on his uh, upper arm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times they wear things around their bicep. It's probably new if, if you notice it because I've never seen it, but who knows? I, it doesn't mean anything. I'm just saying it's an observation I haven't had before. Third and nine. Heat. Going deep. Could call holding there, and it didn't. Well, that's a lot of guts there going after him. Well, I think it's because if you look on tape, he's given up one or two of those a game, but he's also every time he gives up one, he gets an interception. But and you, I mean, right that's perfect it. coverage right there. Yeah. I mean, good intersect. And it uh, looked like they were t sewed together at the hips, coach, on that one. <laughs> he's all over. You're right. Fourth down, fourth and nine. You nailed it being, you nailed it being four down territory. I mean, what do you have to lose? Probably going to try to hit this guy on a flag here coming in motion. He's looking right at him. Oh, no. Going deep. It's a good throw. You called it on the bully. Maximum protect. Just perfect throw. Yeah. You can't play press coverage like that and not touch the guy. First and goal for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, Nothing Malachi. doing. It's going to be second and goal from the same spot. Malachi starts coming off the edge. Like they knew that was coming. Don't discount what it means for all of these tech players from the state of Georgia to have this stage to play in this stadium 
none of them have played here because it's been three years. Maybe one of them has played here. Yeah. Um, Jeff Collins never coached a game. This is their State. running quarterback here. Yeah. Uh, they brought in um, Robert Beal and – Going to God, how can you not think that that guy wasn't going to run the ball after scouting him? I was just about to say they're bringing in Chaz Chambliss to the far side, Jeez. and you knew they were going to run right to Chaz Chambliss's side. He got he was tied up on the block, didn't get off it. That's the first touchdown Georgia's given up in the first quarter in what fifteen games or something. I mean that to me right there is astounding. I mean they've had the guy in all year only to do that, and we didn't even have anybody in the area code. No. You know if the old coach here knows it on off sick bay, <laughs> our guys have been studying it all week. Excellent. Well, I mean, I hey, everybody, cut on your phone and send a damn wake up call to the Georgia t Georgia team. <laughs> These guys look like like a well oiled machine. There, I don't know. This is my fear when everyone just expecting this game to be won. Everybody's predicting you know a thirty five point win and stuff like that. It never works out that way. Georgia's say his name. Say his name. Hmm? Say, say the quarterback's name. Tayson. <laughs> That's what we're going to say. <laughs> it's Tayson. It's, it's very simple. I'm only uh, asking you to do it because I didn't learn how myself. Yeah. Uh, if you want to learn something really good, uh, learn the name Bud Light Next, N-E-X-T. It's a fantastic zero-carb beer. It's a great, super crisp light beer. Uh, only 80 calories a can. Uh Zero uh, carbs, fantastic for anybody that's doing keto, that's doing um, uh, Atkins diet, a low carb diet. You want to actually have a beer, but you're like, oh, it's not on my thing. It'll take me out of ketosis. You can now actually have beer, and it's made from Bud Light Next. It's super refreshing. It tastes delicious. I'm going to need one. Uh, might need two or three of them if this game gets tight, which it hopefully shouldn't. But it's one thing you, you can worry about your dogs, but you don't need to worry about your beer. Bud Light Next has you covered it it is what's next try it out i'm sure you'll love it and if you're in the athens area and you see the leon farmer group distribution like their vans and trucks are going all around to different places where you buy this bud light next those are the people locally that have supported this show so uh if you see them or if you know leon farmer or the family just tell them thanks for their support of UGA Sports Watch Along Show because we've been doing this since 2019 and they've been with us from day one and we couldn't do it without them because uh, we have a fancy new screen that we watch to give you the best detail that we can. Uh, we've had better camera setups than ever before in here and that's because of the partners that we've had and Leon Farmer has been right there at the top of that. I want to point out, Coach, you nailed that. Uh, you said they were going to go after Javon Bullard, fourth and nine. That's exactly what they did. Picked up a 35 yarder. Well, you know, these guys watch tape uh, and they know, uh, regardless of who you're playing, you got to have a, some kind of selling point to your players. Look, if we yeah. protect good enough, we can get this guy open against this guy. Right. He's more of a cover, uh, a, a run a support stop run guy and uh, you know that's not a real strength of his uh, he's a, he's an extra safety for run support so mm -hmm. I, I would say we got to get to a little more zone on these guys I mean we got beat uh, the guy was like four out of five wasn't he uh, three screens and that well, well, he threw a deep ball that didn't catch right, three, but, three or six but here's the thing uh uh, again, uh, it's like these Indians used to send uh, some of their young kids to other tribes to learn their ways and learn their de defense and things like that and how they did things. Well, Jim Chaney's been in our meeting rooms for four years yeah. as an offensive coach practicing every day against this defense. I guarantee you he was telling them, Look! Look at all this right here. We we don't have enough guys here. Well, he had a guy outside, and I don't know what he's doing. Why did he turn around? That was last. That's last. I mean, particularly with that's just a complete bust right there. Yeah. I mean, that is awful. When they talk about eye discipline, it's that right. I'm that sure. was I was blinders. I'm not saying. <laughs> 
that that's the worst Georgia defense has looked, and I, I can't. I mean, I don't remember when the last time it was, but get. I just remembered Bowers against Georgia Tech last season. <laughs> when he split the two defenders in the middle field and scurried oh, yeah. to the – and that's his probably biggest Georgia highlight other than the national championship. We're going to miss the game while everybody is setting them up. Uh, they've already run two plays. Well, we, we got to put we, we got our packages built, so we got to run our packages. Going empty. Go back to Brock, Brock again. Oh, there you go. Swarming. They are swarming. Each one of those gives them a little bit of confidence. Been some concern about Xavier Truss and Ratledge. So we see Truss starting today. Yeah. Left guard Ratledge still having some trouble with turf toe. This is a huge first down right here. We we can't get their team a lot of confidence. We like to go to McConkey over the middle or hit Kenny Mack out of the backfield. McConkey's at the bottom of the screen. Rosemary Jackson up top. Curious on the slot. Got time. Oh my god. He had either one of them. He just threw it behind him. Yep. Georgia Bulldogs. Sleepy. Protection was great. Yeah, I got all the time in the world. Just a bad throw. Didn't step into it. I need to wake these kids Be up. Be a good time to fake one. Let's see what time it is in Australia. Guy continues to hit some really good punts. Yep. So Georgia Tech will take over at its own 20 yard line. Hmm. If you have questions and want to toss them in the chat, feel free to do so. <laughs> yeah, where's this Georgia team at? We're, we're, we're looking for them too. <laughs> Yeah, that defense needs to wake its ass up too. Marvin Bapp says no execution, no fire, flat. Yeah. Definitely so right there. Just walk, we'll just walk through. Hey, I want to mention our friends over at Athens Ford. Uh, when you get a chance, swing by Athens Ford, check them out. Um, just we always say, you know, what's the one thing we can tell you about them? The number one thing is if you buy a vehicle from them, you will get a lifetime powertrain warranty on any of their new vehicles, any of their certified pre-owned ones. Uh, and it doesn't have to be Ford. It can be some other vehicle that you buy pre-owned. Now, there's a few exceptions to that rule. You know, something over 80,000 miles, they're not going to do that. But most of their stuff is under that. So uh, right now, they got 258 vehicles available for you. And they're doing the um, angel list. The, this benefits the Salvation Army and Toys for Tots. Basically, every car that is bought during the month of, uh, from about a week ago through uh Christmas, the month of December, they are going to contribute a hundred dollars towards the angel list. This is basically where kids come out and say, look, this is what I want for Christmas. And they go out and they buy these toys, multiple toys or clothes or whatever the kid wants for Christmas. So the kids are getting exactly what they want. And they also will donate, donate some to just toys for tots. But the point being the, they're doing the angel list. They're sponsoring the, uh, uh, uh lights over at, uh, the Bota Georgia Botanical Gardens. They do a lot in the community. Every Christmas, they're doing something for the kids in the community. We'll be at the bicycles, the jackets. You know, they, there's always something going on. And this time, they're doing the uh, angel list, benefit, benefiting the Salvation Army and Toys for Tots. So uh, you can, they'll do a good thing if you do a good thing, which is support one of our biggest sponsors, and that's Athens Ford. So shout out to them. And I guarantee you, Brian Clover and the folks over there are freaking out, going, what the hell is going on with this Georgia team? Wake up, guys. Want to say congratulations to all of the Georgia high schools that are now in the state semifinals. Uh, that includes a few area teams uh, up here around Athens. Both North Oconee and Oconee County are in the state semifinals. Prince Avenue Christian moved on in the playoffs. Um, just a lot of good football talent all over the state, and, and I'm excited for championship season at the high school level. 
And it's tough to make it in this level. Uh, so you had North Oconee, Oconee, Prince Avenue. How far apart are those schools? They're all within about five miles. Because uh, North and Oconee are on the same road. And they're yeah. 4.3 miles apart. Then you follow it out to, what, Striplings take a ride and you're at uh, Prince Avenue? Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, I, I mean, can't believe they did that today. I mean, they did that in a, uh, 2018. That, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's Kirby. First year. Basin Kirby. Dog reminded me, too, that Roswell and Milton have the same thing, both in the final four, separated by 3.9 miles. That's crazy. All right, let's see if this defense wakes up in here. It's not wow. tackling very good. I'm giving credit. We're going to watch them here in a minute. They're going to try to fake that and hit the guy deep. Yep. Doing okay. exactly what I would do against Georgia and what you're going to see most teams do that don't have a great running game. Get an empty and make them, you know, make some cover guys play pass instead of run. Smile Malden was being blocked there, but got off to make it, uh, make the tackle. That was pretty good. That's ridiculous right there. Yeah. They're on skate. George is not getting off blocks. Very good. This is like Jim Chaney calling a scrimmage. Oh, yeah. Spencer Rattler's back. <laughs> Pick six for Clemson. Clemson won 38 straight games at home. I think you're going to make Jack Benny today. You know what that means? No, I don't. Jack Benny was always 39 years old. <laughs> little pop pass. And Christopher Smith takes a bad angle. They're about to be up 14 nothing. This guy here is making a little All-American today, McCall. Yeah. He's got four catches for 58 yards. Barry says they're playing more physical. They don't know they're supposed to lose. I disagree with that. Miriam says, wake up, dogs. I don't I don't know that the physicality here is just a ball in open field. I mean, yeah, they're knock, knocking us around, but we've missed some tackles, but they're just attacking their weakest areas. This could be play action going for a big one. They're getting pushed at the line of scrimmage. Was that like six first downs or five? That would be their six just there. Yeah. There's Chip Long. You were talking about coach. I think got to be careful here on uh, giving Jim Chaney too much credit. Chip Long's actually calling the play. I'm just saying yeah. it's kind of like Mike Bobo helping our offense. You know, I mean uh, – Analysts and Cheney, but uh, Chip has had a kind of a up and down career. It was at Notre Dame, and then he went to Tulane, and now there's a play action. Oh my God. you got luck. That's what you need. Remember, we talked about the tight yeah. end against uh, Notre Dame. There, what guy caught seven in the first half? How do you drop that? Close to being a fumble. That is. I'm glad he did. One, two. Oh, that second one. Yeah, I don't know that he completed the second stride. That's giving your uh, future opponent some good tape. Sometimes better be lucky, right? Yeah. Second and ten. Reverse fake. Now that looks more like tech. <laughs> yeah. I see what Georgia learned on that last series on the third down. You see if we can cover up. It's so funny how one drop can just change how everything feels. Remember last week, yes, Georgia Tech beat North Carolina, but North Carolina dropped a wide open touchdown in the end zone that would have won that game. Yeah. North Carolina was up 17 nothing too. Tech came back. Yeah. Tech's got nothing to lose. Let's see if they use a motion guy again to try to get work on the Nickel guy. It's 
There's the pressure. There you go. Better coverage. Tight end in the boundary. Well, we got the stop. Rion Davis there coming up with it. We got the stop, but it wasn't anything we did. <laughs> That's true. You can't count on that again, but. Oof. Need something to happen in a kicking game here. We got to score. Uh, McConkey back to receive. Even, even if we score seven touchdowns, we wouldn't beat the spread right now. McConkey go oh. ran into. <laughs> so he ran through a Georgia guy and got out of there. The okay, we having so many penalties on kicks. It's incredible for Georgia. You know, we saw last week Seether on the hold on the kickoff, uh, Green running into the fair catch guy. This guy did the – did see the one that did the egg bowl the other night? If so, hmm. they, they stood around talking a long time about that game. I think you're right. That's targeting against Georgia Tech. Yeah. Previous plays under view. 15, what, is, what does he play? I hope he's just starting safety. <laughs> Look at that real quick. I'm working. My flip card doesn't have it. While we're waiting to find out on that, I want to mention our friends over at uh, Yancey Brothers Rental. Uh, maybe they can find Georgia a rental defense and pick one up. Uh, but if you need aerial equipment or you need uh, to shore up a trench, you know, like the aerial, the lifts, you know, you're like, hey, we need a lift and you're in the in Georgia. They have the lifts, you know, throughout uh, like 16 different locations throughout Georgia. They have scissor lifts, boom lifts, towable boom lifts, uh, atrium boom lifts, telehandlers, uh, anything that you need. If you need to work at height, they've got you covered. Uh, let's say, you know, you want to need to uh, shore up a trench. You're digging something deep. They've got the shields and stuff for that they have compacting equipment concrete equipment pumping equipment uh, material handling earth movers you know it's like hey i don't need to buy an earth mover i just need to rent one they got it uh big trucks you know forestry landscaping type stuff uh power generators they got all that stuff at yancey rentals so what we need you to do is while you're sitting here waiting for the commercials to end at on tv is go to yanceyrents.com Y-A-N-C-E-Y-R-E-N-T-S. Okay. Now, if you go to rent something from them, you know, any of the power, and you don't have to have a huge construction site, just check out the answer rental stuff because I'm guaranteeing they have stuff that you can use at your house. Let them know that you watch the Jim Donnan show. Let them know you watch the Georgia Watch Along show, and they will give you one of these nice bags here with your rental. So uh, if you're, you're going to rent something from them anyway, well, you might as well get a fantastic tool bag from uh, – yanceyrents.com. So check out yanceyrents.com. Uh, see all the stuff they have. Remember, it, there's 16 locations throughout the state. This isn't uh, just in Atlanta. This isn't just in Athens. This just isn't just in Columbus. They're all over the place. So if you're within the sound of our voice, you're watching somewhere within the state of Georgia, you can use uh, Yancey Rentals, uh, 81-844-YNC-RENT. Real simple, 844 Y-N-C rent, and they'll ask them if they got what you need. I guarantee you they do. 15 for Georgia Tech is Sirad Bryant. He's a backup defensive back who has five tackles on the season. Um, he's from Cordell, Crisp County High School. Uh, Ohio State scored a touchdown. It was a touchdown pass from C.J. Stroud. So Ohio State leads seven to nothing over Michigan, and the Wolverines have the ball. All right. So who's going to win that game? Come on now. Um, I feel like the Buckeyes, but you know Michigan hasn't won, and uh, but what they call the, the name of that place is what uh, the horseshoe. The horseshoe. Yeah, the horseshoe in, in twenty-two years. So. Wow. Uh, so uh, 
Jed May says that that uh, Sirod Bryant threw down Jackson Meeks on the turf. Here's the replay. Oh, Jesus. That, that's, that is really bad right there. You can't go down and... There you go. There's a spark. Just keep showing that on the Jumbotron. I guarantee you all those Georgia players will start throwing people around. I'm going to tell you, C-Red, you don't want to get in a fight with Jackson Meeks. You don't want that smoke. So Georgia gets the ball on us. This will be a run, I guarantee you. No way we throw four straight passes. Run into the left. And he ran to the left. Cut to the center a little. Still got about five yards. Stetson Bennett on the decoy keep. <laughs> I saw them go there. Hey, at least that guy had eyes on him. There's a touchdown pass from Stroud. The angle when they do a game at Ohio State feels like it's on the moon. That camera's always so high there. Fast game, already 10 minutes. Here's the formation with both tight ends. Oh, split zone. Yep. Nobody stayed with Stetson that time, though. They were watching the first one. <laughs> he came back and was like, somebody get this ball for me. Yeah. And now he's going to the sideline. She kept it and he wouldn't have to take you out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Van Fran that took it from him. Go on and run, Steph. There go. That's a positive play, though. Luckily, there wasn't a holding call on Broderick Jones. <sighs> I like Notre Dame to beat USC tonight. That's good coverage. All right, so he picked up. Six yards. Show us the formation, ESPN. Counter to the left. Ooh, pressure. The ball. They blew it up. Yeah. Not many teams have done that. Played the formation. Yeah. George, you got to get your ass going here now. You can't flip flop around. You know, when you got an outman team, you move around, you jump around, you take shots, and that's what Tech's doing there. They're just uh, – we need to go a little bigger tempo so they can't go, zone in on us. They just split McIntosh out left. A lot of space out there. I got Bowers take... pass protecting for a second there. Eh? Money. Okay. Dylan, Dylan Bell. Dylan Bell. Pick up eight yards. Give him hell, Dylan Bell. Somebody text me that Archie Manning's, Arch Manning's team got beat last night. Yeah, at one point he uh, he was 0 for 6 for his first six throws, but he had a 22-yard run, and that's the last I saw of it. It's like, oh. I knew you'd know more about it than me. <laughs> I didn't see anything past that, but I, uh, they were struggling. I would like to see us go a little faster here. Darnell. Well, he's Darnell. a big boy. Yeah, tackle him forward because it's going to fall for about eight yards. Yeah. It's one of the best things we do right there is the mechanics of the quarterback. Watch his hand eye here. Fake. <laughs> yeah, nice little. We had everybody. Watch his hit, though, in the end. This guy comes in. Everybody Spearing. coming across. All right, we don't need any red zone faux, faux pas here. Bowers up top. 
Ooh, no. Corner blitz. Yeah. You got to see it. Called a quarterback draw on the corner blitz. Oof. That is bad. We had, him, blo we had him blocked, but left the corner. They were man. Yeah. That's some Stetson there. Second and 13 for Georgia. Perfect day for football. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was going to be rainy. Clemson now leads South Carolina 14 to 0. Show some speed. Woof. That was mm -hmm. some speed. Nifty. So that's the second time he's been flushed. He's looking around and everybody's covered up. Yeah, well, that's, that's pretty occasionally good. that happens. Yeah. That's why you have a mobile quarterback. Yeah, I'm just saying it's... Look at that footwork on the sideline. <laughs> Are you going to run a... Personnel. I mean, if you're going to run that, you have Darnell Washington, right? I don't think he runs a very good fade route. I'm talking about Darnell. I agree with you, but he's also six seven and massive. Well, if you're going to throw it, throw it to Brock Bowers on the yeah, fade yeah. Uh, it, instead of this guy. But you just can't call it based on who's in the game. Your formation is what dictated it there. I mean, it's easy for us to say go to this guy and all that. but uh, Run it. There it is. Oh, wow. This guy's playing good inside out. Yep. Loss of three. That was just a bad first down play. Yeah. Right there, they took a shot now. Let's see if Georgia – this is not a one-yard gain in the red zone situation, so a little bit different than the Kentucky game. But let's see if Georgia can get out of its red zone struggles. Can you run that split zone again? No, nah, he's going to throw the ball to Bowers. Good Lord. What? Thought start. Zero. Everything they want couldn't be much better for Yick. Looks like they're going to try to hit Bowers on a flag route to the field. Looking right at him. There it is. Oh, my. You called it. Bowers wanted a flag. You called it. He got yeah. it. Wow. First glance, I didn't think it was P.I., but it, I mean, I've seen – Oh, oh. On Brock. Wow. It's so be... we've had two penalties inside the tent. Let's see what happens there. He must have done it before that. Is, are the, I think they're saying I'm conky on the inside. How could it be on Bowers? That was a bad call. He didn't touch anybody. That's terrible. Who is it on? They're calling it on McConkey, I think. It couldn't be on him. I guess they just took the play. I would, too. Yeah. Um... All right, Jack Podlesny. If he misses this, you know it's a bad day. Ooh, he snuck Ooh. it in there, but you have me nervous, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> Not the reason I said it. I mean, third. wait till after the kick next time, if you will. 
All right. So two drives, seven to three. Yeah, is uh, this ACC or SEC refs? What? I'm assuming this is ACC refs or, or no? Nah, it's the same ones that doing the Egg Bowl the other night. SEC. They used to have on a visiting team would bring the ACC refs. That's what I thought. But the, they don't do that now. Okay. This is SEC clue crew. Yeah. Typical SEC uh, garbage. That's terrible. I'll tell you. Who, I'll tell you who that referee is because I got the game notes here. Of who the uh, defense needs to make up, get a turnover here. Lee Hedrick is the uh, referee. He might not have been at the Egg Bowl. I don't know. Uh, I would West doubt Virginia. they. I would doubt they would let them do two games in a week. Yeah. Me. Bloom coming off the rose there. Well, guys, if we get bored, we can flip over to Army and UMass if you'd like. Do a little watch along for it. Go Army! Big game for them is next week. I wonder where everybody else is watching this game. I know for the big games, we have people all over the world. 18 seconds left here in the first quarter. Uh, that was a big stop there. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Georgia Tech leading Georgia 7-3. to three. But frankly, guys, I think it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, well, they dropped a pass. So the guy might still be running. So uh, definitely could be a lot better. Georgia could have got seven there and be have a tie game. But this is a team there. I, I think Coach mentioned the fact that they were down 17 to nothing to North Carolina, a ranked team, and they came back, won 20 to 17. So this is a team you, you need to be up three, four, five scores to put them out. And, Georgia just doesn't look like it. Back-to-back uh, -back weeks of uh, mediocre, uh, mediocre play. Call it what it was. Uh, red zone issues, inaccuracy, uh, just not not a crisp team. Not firing on all cylinders. I know they keep moving the offensive line around a bit, but and then weird play calling. The the first down pass to uh, Marcus Rosemary Jackson in the uh, goal area. Georgia's had trouble getting in the uh, red zone and they start throwing it, you know, whereas you saw Kenny Mack pick up six. What was he averaging? Uh, Kenny McIntosh is averaging seven yards a carry. His first and goal from the seven. I don't know. Maybe give it to him a couple times, see what happens. So get, I don't know why. I mean, I'm not going to get into the question of the play calling, but uh both quarterbacks are sitting at 50% completion rates. Gibson, 6 of 12. Bennett, 4 of 8. Um, just not crisp. And then you got false start penalties and whatever that pass interference call was. Georgia. I hated to catch the touchdown and call that pass interference. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think certainly McConkey had some contact with the guy, but. Yeah. So Georgia has six rushing attempts. I hope Eight everybody's passing. keeping up with us telling you what the plays are because we're about it. Yeah, you, you've been right on it. And that's from somebody <laughs> that been in the infirmary. I haven't studied these guys any. You know Georgia, though. Yeah. yeah but I'm calling both I'm sides. Calling based on Chip Long, but um, – That's crazy. Anyway, folks, pop in your question. One of my uh, guys that played for me my first year here, Caster, who works a little bit up at uh, Chick-fil-A on the weekend some, um, 
his wife works corporate for uh, another group, and he had his son over there eating this morning and uh, checked in with me and told me that he was going to be listening to us. So shout out to him and also Brian, who's out there every day. Got the good support of those big dogs. Brian's a big North Carolina fan, too. He's in the fetal position after Carolina lost times. twice yesterday, football and basketball, first loss in basketball. Surprising there, Matt Rule's going back to college. I, get, I know he's not going to get a pro job, but uh, Nebraska, tough job. I mean, in the Big Ten, got eight hours to go get players for him. You're out there in the middle of nowhere, but you can do it. But I promise you, if I got paid a few million dollars not to be cut, I don't. I forget what the Panthers have to pay him. You wouldn't catch me moving to Lincoln, Nebraska. All right, second quarter. There we go. There we go. There's the old shift and the illegal procedure. Michigan kicked a field goal and now trails Ohio State seven to three halfway through the first quarter. How about old Lane Kiffin's going to be get, making $9 million and only had two wins over top 25 teams in his coaching career? You got out of coaching at the wrong time. I'm just telling you. <laughs> He's a good coach, but never beats anybody any good. Well, money, that's crazy. Oh, Keely. That's pathetic. Uh, Tim asks, is Jalen Carter playing today? Yeah, he's out there. Georgia Tech's double-teaming him pretty much every play. I mean, this is this is not good right here. Anatomy of an upset right here. Yep. When you uh, got team down – and that uh, one of our readers tells us this is the same broadcast crew that called the uh, South Carolina loss. Ooh. To use coach's words, Dan Orlovsky is one of those guys that thinks he invented football. Well, they don't mind going after Keely Ringo. How many feet you got to have out of bounds? Yeah. So there was no catch. They're going to look at this and see if he caught that, got a foot in. Dan Orlovsky did the, did the game when we – Lost to South Carolina in overtime? Yep. I don't remember. That's what I'm being told on Twitter. That was rough. Let's take 15 seconds and hear from our friends at Bud Light Next. Zero Carbs Beer is here. Introducing Bud Light Next. Zero Carbs, 80 calories. Super crisp light beer. Bud Light Next. Root for what's next. Roddy, you chugged one of those in, the, in that break. I, I could do it. They're not, they're not that big. They're only 80 calories, too, so I can have as many of them as I want. Uh, even got my Bud Light next uh, hoodie on. So, repping the brand, folks. Um, and I believe in it because it tastes fantastic. So, when you get a chance, try the uh, Bud Light next. It's super crisp. It's a light beer. You can have them all day. I know there were people tailgating. I saw them when I drove by coming over to Coach Donna's house. They were out there at uh, 7 a.m. And um, my neighbors? No. <laughs> people on the way from uh, the east side, you know, the east side uh, Georgia fans go hard. So I saw them um, light it up, and I'm sure that there were a few uh, beverages had before that noon kickoff. If traffic I guarantee there'd be more right now. If traffic was any indication, there's some people that didn't make it for kickoff because mm -hmm. there were some spots that I normally don't see any traffic on the route that I come here, and it took me probably 20 minutes to go a mile. And I'm thinking, if y'all if aren't parking by now, you're not making it to the stadium for right. kickoff. 
I came to a millage and it was wide open, which was a first. So um, this, the, the well, traffic was obviously uh, weird today. They were, just, they were all making making highway though, just like the game. All right, still a lot of football left to be played, but just kind of frustrating the way Georgia's playing right now. Ohio State back in the red zone against Michigan. Yeah, it really is, but we're getting what we deserve. I mean, they're out playing us. I mean, they're making every play in the open field that we usually make. You know what I mean? They're making – have you seen us miss this many tackles? No. That's why I just tweeted that out. So many missed tackles. Based um, on the way things are going, they're going to say this guy's foot was in bounds. When your team is missing, I mean – completely missing some easy tackles coach what do you tell them you just tell them to calm down and go to your basics or yeah you just got to say first of all instead of trying to destroy the guy break down and get him down you know uh that play there keely ringo was just completely fooled yeah i mean that can happen but you always force a wide guy back inside where you got help you never let him beat you to the outside uh, Dejan Edwards just came out of the injury tent. He appears to be okay. But something to keep an eye on. Okay. Incomplete pass is the call. Yeah, I mean, you got everything starts on the white. Yeah, he didn't have it. Second and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. See the decal on their helmets for Virginia. We're playing off the ball. Got four guys up there. Empty set. There There's a tackle. That's what Bullard does. That's a lost, lost play. Lost yardage. Minus two. A field goal, Ohio State. So that is 10 to three Buckeyes. Uh, That's the way to swarm the ball. Tech must have blocked there really bad. You're seeing more and more teams have these super wide formations with someone essentially on the sideline. Oh, makes sense. Get, yeah. get everybody spread out. We're playing man under. Throw it in the boundary? Yep. Well, he's determined to go after Keely Ringo. Got a P.I. too. Not your day, Keely. Opposing teams have targeted Ringo more than they have last Saturday this season. This whole drive's on him. Yeah. <laughs> Can't throw that arm across his chest. I think we got to adjust and play more zone now. I mean, you're just we're getting killed. First and 10 for Georgia Tech. Ball in the 50. I'm trying to throw a swing pass to this guy right here. That was a big play there by Tresman Marshall. Doing a good job setting up their plays, I think. Yeah. You know, right there. This guy was playing at Akron a couple years ago. The Akron zips. Joe Moorhead's a the coach there this year. He used to be at Mississippi State. Wow. Seems like they uh, takes out the ball for six hours. Well, it's a good play, but that blitz got blown up. It's people in the chat asking, would you give Ringo a break? Would you take him off the field? Hard to take your best player out of the game. I mean, it's got to be a pride thing right now. Just give him a break and let him play a little zone coverage. You know, 
Yeah. yeah. Third five, they're going to throw it or run it. Uh, well, empty it's set, so it's going to be a throw. Yeah. They're going to hit the inside receiver over the middle. It's covered. <laughs> Better throw to one of two receivers. And... You go for it here, I would. I would be as aggressive as possible because what's George – you're playing – Bring in a running quarterback. You're playing for bowl eligibility. You're playing to try to upset a rival. You know. Yeah, but your defense has not been terrible, so. Worry about a fake here? A little laser kick, and they oh. got it to check up. No, he but he couldn't him. stop himself. No momentum took him in yep. the end zone. Yep. He got to the ball, but couldn't. A lot of times you'll see him try to toss it back. Get get down there and show the rest. We don't need to see this guy on the sideline. Show us what's happening. But, but his name's Shanahan, so they have to make a big deal out of it. He tried to throw it back at his knee. <laughs> yeah, he, th he threw it <laughs> to himself. <coughs> I don't even know. Do you practice that? To like go down there, grab the ball, toss it backwards? Sure. I guess you practice everything. South Carolina score. They did. So that's Clemson 14, South Carolina 7. That was the Spencer Rattler touchdown throw. West Virginia and Oklahoma State tied at 7. New Mexico State 14, Liberty 7. Playing for that Auburn job. <laughs> He lost to somebody last week, too, didn't he? Uh, Liberty has three losses this yeah. season. Virginia Tech was last week. Uh, I mean, that's bad loss. Yeah. UConn the week before. I was gonna say, I remember them losing to UConn right after they upset Arkansas. Yeah. So it was like, hey, they, they beat Arkansas, then they lost to UConn. Like, they only the beat Gardner-Webb by one. Hey, Gardner-Webb's a good team. Congratulations to Gardner-Webb <laughs> getting in the playoffs. Uh, Trey Lamb, Coach Lamb's grandson. Is that who's over there? He's, he's the coach in uh, – Joseph Selfo, Chris Selfo's son's a line coach. Oh, wow. That's and, awesome. Uh, how about Coach, uh, the uh, Sanford Bulldogs win the Southern Conference. Chris Hatcher? And Chris Hatcher's coach of the year. And the, he only uh, has one loss, doesn't he? To us. That's all they <laughs> lost. That's insane. Put them in the uh, playoff. They got a bye in the first round. We try to tell everybody that was a good football team. Yeah. I'm like, oh, they're good at what they do. I mean, if Auburn wanted to hire a good football coach, they'd consider Chris Hatcher. That's hey, that's a good point. Talk about it, the guy that has respect of all the high school teams, you know, all the high school coaches. Right. He is well loved. And they look said uh, a lot of the high school coaches know uh, Brent Key, and if he actually gets the job, he should be able to do some good recruiting. I, I hate it that. Hatcher's career because when he jumped up to Georgia Southern and he was trying to take them into the, the spread passing from what they had been historically, which was that option run game, he just didn't have the roster to execute that and they didn't really have the patience to let him develop right. that. But, but now they're going crazy with it. I mean, he, he did good at Murray State and then he's really good at Samford. He let no Helton throw it over, everywhere. It's funny how many sons of coaches wind up coaching. I, I don't know of two, though. Let, uh, coach at Tyson Helton's a coach at Western Kentucky, and Chad's, uh, uh, I mean, Clay. Clay's at, at Southern. Hell, your boy Todd coached for a long time. You know, and we got uh, Montgomery Van Gorder over there at UJ yeah. right now. He's uh, a name that folks know really well. How many of the Muschamp boys are going to go into coaching? Yeah, his nephews helps over there. All right, let's get going here. Still seven to three. There's a little stem on us. Defensive back blitzing down here. Picked up. Break it. Kenny McIntosh. 
Kenny Mac just doing Kenny Mac stuff. Coach, you said beforehand t- teams take chances, you know, when they're you're, un- you're undermanned. They took a chance there and it burned them. Yeah, they slammed it back away from the, where they stemmed, and uh, mm-hmm. we picked it up. Big old got tired of running 25 yards. Yeah, I got to take him out now. 45 yard pickup. Fake the throw the big one. Karis Jackson across the formation. Dejan Edwards. There we go. So again, Dejan was in the uh, tent. Might have been going in there to use the restroom. Sometimes that happens. Trying to see if Rat led to anything around. I was told Trez had two bad ankles. I was surprised he's actually in there as well as Devin Willett played last week. But a lot of those guys are hurt and banged up. My goodness. What a run. Good blocking, too. Yeah, those two. Who all pulled on that? It looked like the whole line. Uh, you got probably McClendon and uh, Darnell. It's in my, it, it, to me, it looked like three of them. Because uh, yeah, well, Trust is over there, too. <laughs> so Darnell, Trust, and... Uh, this is where we like to run the split zone. Yeah. Make that read. Trying to get too funky here now. Yeah. I'd like to just break it to here's hardest corner blitz. Yeah. They they reading their mail down here, boys. You know, we're you gotta think Kenny Mack needs to go back in the game now, right? Nope, still Edwards. Well, Rock Bowers in, in there. He had a little bit of a hole when he tried to juke or spin. Yeah. Probably going to get more. I mean, go. right here. Your best back and your best tight end are on the bench. You go line back. Yeah. These these TV guys give me no chance. They must know I'm trying to do this. Yeah. There they go. Both, both of them back in. Got Marcus Rosby Jack Saint. Whoa. Catch. I just saw Marcus standing there on the goal line. I'm like, he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's like, it's like it was two years before he was standing there and he threw it. Well, he's reading the coverage. But... I know, but I was, I was so impatient. I'm like, I see something, coach. I see something. <laughs> well, he put Bowers in there and got the. <laughs> A little gritty. That's called a gritty coach. Yeah, that was a nice drive. <laughs> coach taught Marcus the gritty. <laughs> I don't mean gritty like two T's. That's a tough drive. I mean, that little dance he did was called a gritty. Yeah. I'm just letting you know my my, my street uh, credentials, you know. Right. I, I'm young and hip. What's the nitty then? <laughs> so. Extra point pending. Up and good. That's the sound of uh, butts unclenching all across that stadium. So, hey, look, your two best guys are in there, and look what happens. Two eyes go to Brock Bowers. But, See, my eyes are on Kenny Mack, and like, well, if he can hold long enough, he'll have the, the drag across the middle. Yeah, very true. You got to make that catch, boy. That was, that, was, that was a hell of a catch, and that's the second one he's had in that end zone that was tough. Yeah. Was that A.D. Mitchell? Just joking. 
Uh, I was like, shit, did I miss that? <laughs> I'm panicked. No, I'm just saying, uh, I read where somebody said he was going to play today. I, don't think, I mean, he dressed out. You didn't which, read it on UGASports.com. Which, which we were pointing No, I didn't. Right. I was just, these, these sources are really good. Yeah. Well, if, if you want a good source, reach out to our friends at Athens Ford. That is your source for fantastic vehicles, new or pre-owned. It's also a great source if you want to customize your vehicle. You know, you got a truck and you want all the cool bells and whistles on it. You know, you want different packages. They have a customization shop over there that's lights out. You know, and of course, if you you can go online and order your vehicle, you just click on the um, uh, the little, click on the website and you can actually order the vehicle the exact way you want it. You know, put detail packages and all that stuff. But if you're like, hey, you know, I got a truck and I want a step bar. I want this. I want the new cover over the back. And they have some pretty great Black Friday deals like the uh, trifolds for your truck bed and stuff like that. They have all this stuff in stock, tons of it. Check them out. Also, if you need service on your vehicle, you're like, hey, that uh, low left nah, that left front tire is low or you crank it and it takes forever for it to crank up. You know you got a battery or alternator issue. If you're within 20 miles of their facility, you can actually have their mobile service van come out to you. And they will check out your car. You get an engine light coming on. You're scared to drive it because you're, you're not sure why that engine light's on. If you're within 20 miles, the mobile service van will come out and they'll plug everything into it, tell you what's going on. So check out our friends at Athens Ford when you get the chance. Uh, Brian Glover and those folks are huge Georgia fans. I guarantee you they're feeling a lot better right now that Georgia has a lead. So, Roddy, in your 3 2 1 report, yeah. You mentioned some potential recruiting flips that could be happening here in the next week or two. I'm just seeing where. They, uh, our rival side is saying that Alabama commit Caleb Downs is at the Ohio State Michigan game right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that Georgia could get Caleb. Downs. I'm not saying Georgia, but I'm know. just saying. Oh yeah, there's going to be Georgia good. flipping people from Alabama and Ohio State flipping people from Alabama. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, we we knew that Caleb Downs was between Alabama and uh, Ohio State, and even. Uh, People are still saying that maybe Justice Haynes will come here from Alabama, but he likes Ohio State too. I mean, and they like each other; they love playing together. So, who knows? But yeah, we got to get this damn game over with. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for Justice Haynes to flip to Georgia. Can't I can't say I know what's going to happen. The kid's committed. I mean, if he was going to do it, he could do it. But as long as he's committed, he's still committed. But if I think Georgia's put themselves in a great spot. I know Veron Haynes is a, a Georgia legend. There was a little bit of when he committed to Alabama, well, people got into the mentions over there and gave uh, the Haynes family some shit. And I always warn people, don't do that. If a kid picks a different school, don't go crap to his parents. Don't say we didn't want him anyway. Don't say he's not as good as you think he is. It's too early to do stuff like that. Wait till he's playing at the other team. Then you can crap all over him. Who's the answer to this? Johnny Manziel and Tim Tebow? Last 25 years, only SEC, two SEC quarterbacks have 250 plus passing yards and four straight games. I'd say Johnny Manziel and Tim Tebow. Would Burrow not have done it? I don't Ooh. think he'd be rushing, but he could. There's a lot of them, but that's just my guess. He got 17 in the game. Ohio State just went for it on a fourth and two and did not make it. Oof. So Michigan's going to get the ball. Where's the ball? It's on commercial over there, so I'm having to look that up. I want to say it was around the, the 40. <sighs> on the Michigan 34. Let's be aware here who's in the game, boys. Yeah. He could throw a there's, turnover. There's that running quarterback. <laughs> Great job, Robert Beal. Talk about eye control. That man, had he had that game had locked down. You know, I want to say something about a tech player. Terry Tooley was a coach for a long time here, golf and football out at uh, – North Oconee and his grandson, Ryan Purves, who's his daughter, Tammy, works for CLC with my daughter, uh, is a walk-on offensive lineman for Tech. And uh, not they don't usually bring the lineman to the games, but he's in the stands today and a good supporter. 
That is ridiculous. What are we doing? Missing tackles. Goodness gracious, boy. I tell you that Daniels kid's licking his chops at LSU. Just ugly. Ugly. So many missed tackles. Sticking with the mobile quarterback. Yeah, I would. I mean, he's just. He's taking. It's a great play. He had more than three on that. I'm telling you, boys, we need to get another score here. Boma can. He could do one of those commercials like the Pittsburgh Steeler guy did. Oh, yeah. Troy. Palomalu. Head and shoulders. Mm -hmm. Nothing going there. Oh, no. Oh, he <laughs> almost pulled a oh. Robbie Ashford. He almost got away. I'll show the camera. Yeah. Smart play by that lineman, not blindside block. Yeah. Right. Third and eight from the uh, Georgia Tech 40. Just don't get a penalty here. Yeah. What? Bail to the front. There's nobody out there. Oof. Third tackle. Has a big, big tackle. I like the way that play was set up. Yeah. It cleared everybody out. He was just one on one. And for for everybody, I'm not usually as critical as I am today, but it's just uh I really thought our team had improved so much fundamentally. I was worried when the season started on defense about some of our coverage issues and tackling issues, and we improved so much, but we look like we did in fall camp now. Yeah, it's also that you hate Georgia Tech. We get it. What? It's that you hate Georgia Tech, too. That's why you're more critical today. We may have not let, given them any credit. Yeah, no, no. I'm just – you hate to see – Poor play when Georgia Tech is the beneficiary. Yeah. Woo! That was huge. Weekly there. tweet about special teams right there. That's big. You think we can score three times in the first half? <laughs> Now, we'll love seeing guys take a, a catch like that on the run. They, they got a head of speed, a head of steam going forward. But, Coach, it's got to uh, worry you every time you see the ball bounce like that because you just never know where it's going to go. What do you coach your guys do? Uh, you, catch on the first one or just one? It, it depends on those rugby kicks on how high the kick is. I mean, you got to be careful about running up trying to get it. Exactly. <laughs> Kenny Mack. Edwards. First down and more. Let's go. All right, so he got five, and Tate Ratledge got five by pushing him. We got a chance to get – let's go fast. Lump Dog yeah. says, Coach, if I – he says, I listened to hear you'd be critical. If I wanted sunshine bumpers, I'd listen to Mrs. Lump Dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. I just – it's not my style, but hey, – And our condolences to the Lump Dog family. They lost a, a damn good dog recently. Literally a, a dog. Great puppy. 248 left in the first half. Well, was... now they're, they're lathering him up, but 
Yeah, one thing you can do, too, is keep running like this, and then you're going to have a couple easy throws. Yeah. That play action just comes easy. Kirby don't want to give him another possession, but. Edward, seven carries for 44 yards. Respectable. Closing in on two minutes. Kendall he likes to hit, hit the old Blaylock here. Oh. Where are you going, son? Stay on the boundary. I'm going to take up for the quarterback there. Ah, give him <laughs> a place to throw it. Wow. That's poor. See what I mean there? If you, yeah. This should be a run. Was he expecting a run there, Coach? Did he not think it was I don't know. Maybe he thought we were running it as RPO, but good time for you to keep one, Stetson. McConkey in motion. Here's a corner again. God knows. Fourth and two. That was just a fall down there, Milton. Come on, buddy. Timeout, Georgia Tech. Falls on 26, fourth and two. You know, the guy's trying to win the game. Smart by him. Good possession here because yeah. he figured if, if you stop him here, he got the ball. Hmm. That's we got the ball first, second half, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, because Georgia kicked off to them and they took it the length of the field. Clemson 16, South Carolina 14. So that means there was a safety in that game. How do we get them, get them all worked up? I'm sitting here looking at some of the Yancey Rental stuff that I might want to just go rent and play with. Need to, need to fix a crack in my driveway. I can actually rent all the concrete stuff and do it myself. You're going to have to move all the deer out of the way first. I've been to your neighborhood, it's man. Nuts, it's just me. It's, it's all wall. -to -wall. Well, last time I went over your way to, to pick up some gear, I did not see a single deer. And I was really wondering what was going on with the earth because <laughs> most of the time I see like four families of deer. It's just yeah. all, and they're like well trained. Yeah. They, they know just to stand there and look at you. They're not fed. They're not, uh, there's no way baiting them in. They just, it's a quiet neighborhood and uh, there's, it's an older neighborhood. So there's all sorts of trees and underbrush and they it's just beautiful eat. back there. They just eat and eat and eat. Yeah. So I didn't want to say they were a little plump, you know, they are fat. I wanted to be, and we have a little pond about this big, a little ornamental pond in our front yard. And, you know, was it about a month, six weeks ago or so when it just hadn't rained for so long? Yeah. We put up a trail cam and it was crazy to see, Hey, look, possums, uh, uh, raccoons swimming in it. And it's only like that deep, you know. You couldn't even put fish in it. They'd eat them out. Uh, deer constantly, uh, armadillos. Like, where, this is a normal neighborhood. You're just amazed the sh sheer amount of wildlife coming through there. Random cats. But, but yeah, tons and tons of deer. They love, love that uh, little water pond. This ball's on the 26. What do you do here? You take your points or do you go for it? I go for it. Roddy, they were zero for seven going for it. But Kirby said last week we were zero for seven inside the ten. We've yeah. made it a lot outside there. Now yeah. come on, Mister well, Negative. I just said, that, well, if you let me finish, I'm saying before they were nine for nine on fourth downs. Yeah, but you're talking about I mean, zero for different. seven inside the ten is a lot different than this. Well, also, just the short yardage plays. So I'm just including them all together. Uh, but Kirby said last week that is a statement play. Inside the 10 it is, but here it's not. To me, I think it's a, it's a decision based on points. It's a statement percentage play inside the 10 because you're saying, I don't care what they do, we're going to knock it in there. But right here, you know, you're looking at, hey, we're going to have the ball again. Our defense is good. Yeah. You know, we got a mobile quarterback. Uh, A.D. Mitchell. In the game. All right. I have not seen that in a long time. And Kendall Milton. I would kick it. 
I would kick the field goal here. Kendall but, Milton's in there instead of McIntosh. That's what we saw in that little group huddle. Trying to draw them off sides. So Ad Mitchell didn't play; just ran out yeah. there to stand there. Technically, in the past, I would say Kirby would kick a field goal because he's a defensive. Mm -hmm. But right here, I give you give Tech a lot of juice if they stop you. Yep. If they don't, I mean, it's mission impossible. Going with the big formation out there. Delp, Darnell, Bowers, Blasky's in there. Let's do a little quarterback keeper around the edge. There's big I think it's fake up inside and – Bowers in motion, hand it to him. He's got it. How did Good you call that? I don't know. Flag just on the play. I think it was a horse collar. That's a very good call. I hope it didn't call us for holding. I don't know. Bowers face mask is what they're calling. Well, he made it first down. Yeah. Puts Georgia back to the 38. But so, it's the first down. Yeah. So you can stiff arm. So they're saying he grabbed and held the face mask. Yeah. And look at his fingers caught in there. He can't can't argue. You got a kick and field goal in now. Or punt it. It's like you said, Danny should have kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like leaving points out there this early in a game. Good play, McConkie. Wow. We can use our timeouts here now. It Although may prove to be immaterial, but I, I've just seen too many times that that can change the calculus and make the other team do something weird. What a play. You say the team's working on knocking it back? <laughs> I did ask that question earlier. Thank you. <laughs> you Here's the thing right here. That timeout we used on delay a game uh, is going to keep us from th – they can run the clock out. Get my nice from If I was talking. Georgia Tech right here, I would fake up in there and try a deep ball. Yeah. I'm with you there. Your the worst case scenario, you're probably going to get a pass interference call. Georgia has two timeouts to stop clock. Best case scenario. Uh, yeah. Well, for... Right back to picking on Ringo. Well, that's good. Now, if they don't make it on second down, we get more. Yeah, the clock I don't know that that – I guess you could say picking on him, but I mean – Throwing where yeah. Ringo's man. Maybe that's what I should say. Yeah. Picking well, they maybe, like that McCollum kid. That may be too pejorative. So, I mean, He's not. You can't. You can't get beat deep there. You got to just play safe. This is gonna be a run. Yeah, I got two high safeties. So we're Georgia stems. Yeah, 
God Almighty, that was too deep. That's the safety. Yep. So Ringo came on the blitz and starts. Got beat over top. Well, you called it. You said you'd go deep. They're aggressive here. He caught that? He caught it, but he was out of bounds. He's still on top. Yeah, he was out of bounds. I mean, how many is four caught for that? These guys have had an out of body experience, a quarterback. They're actually going to review that play. No. You soothsayer. <laughs> I just figure, you know, <laughs> they're, they're screaming over there that he caught it, so. There's no way he got in bounds no. with this. Impressive that he found a way to catch the ball, but there's no way he's in bounds. I do. Oh, but now legs up. God damn. You can't tell. Yeah, but he's not. The ball's not even in his hand. That's that not possession. Mean. The ball's between him and the. Yeah. Michigan tied him up. Clemson scored again as well. He doesn't have possession until right there, and his foot's off the ground. Man, they keep trying it. But see, what Orlovsky wasn't getting there is just because you have a still frame of the ball between his hand and his body, that doesn't mean you have control. Yeah, well, here it's close to him, so therefore it's a catch. That just means on a still frame that the ball is resting against his hand. But as gravity takes place, that ball would fall and he yeah. would not have possession. At least it was a quick review. Zach Gibson, 12 of 21 for 131 yards. Second and 10, close to midfield. Two high safeties again. God, man. You can't. That's not the running quarterback. Hmm. Well, he ran that time. No, I'm just saying that's <laughs> you expect it from the other guy. I have to play Nolan Smith makes. Here's Ringo. Again, good protection. I don't think Georgia Tech can hire someone that has them playing better than Key is right now. Zion Logue down on the ground. All right, let's get the answer to this question. 250-plus passing yards and a rushing TD, four consecutive games. I don't know. Oh, Stetson Bennett did it last year. Well, you got Tebow right, Coach. Yeah. That, that's – that's a uh, Dave McMahon special because I'm pretty sure he put that into a um, uh, one of his stat articles recently. He worked for CBS, so I know. I'm not but saying they might have camp copied it. Yeah, I'm just saying it's one of those that Dave would have uh, he noticed. You know, 
Mentioned yeah, that. I didn't. I, I thought the Stetson. Well, of course, he had two games there at the end of the year, but like maybe he did it during the middle of the year. Maybe they're saying this year. He scored a ton this year. He's got seven rushing touchdowns. There you go. Back. Carter. Don't call him for slamming him. I could see this getting a little chippy. You don't want to do that, that boy. Yeah. Jalen Carter making some money in these last few games. He just read the block. Yep. Follow the guy. He's <laughs> like, hey, you're you're vacating your space. I'm gonna go to your spot. Look how fast he comes off the ball, though. Jeez. They're gonna run something here and try to get it in field goal range. Timeout Georgia Tech. Put 17 in there. How about say quarterback draw? Clemson 23, South Carolina 14. Looks like Clemson's just running on them. 135 rushing yards, only 83 passing yards. All right, third and 12 for Georgia Tech. Small Munden at the bottom there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Pop was reading that whole <laughs> time. Johnson. Time out, <laughs> Kirby. Woo! Where's the ball? Um, uh, UGA 38. Oh, like, you don't want to call time out, Kirby. It looks like he did, though. I think Georgia Tech had one more. No, yeah. Nah, Georgia, Georgia called Tech. it. Because he was down inbounds. Clock was running. But they could have called it with, like, 37 seconds left. If they throw the ball, oh, back the point here. If they if they don't punt here and they throw it, we got field position for a chance. But they're probably going to punt. Yeah, I'd punt if I were them. Coach Young, man, he's got the philosophy. <laughs> My philosophy in the first half is to be pretty darn conservative and just give yourself a shot in the second half. Usually, if you're even team, but you you guys playing for your job. But I think Georgia Tech has a better chance to win this game if they keep Georgia off the scoreboard here rather than trying to score more themselves. Yeah, that's true. That's why I admit they're talking about that they actually put more seconds on the clock. I was wondering why it took them so long to uh, call the timeout. Uh, the I clock also, was still running. I just got back from the Egg Bowl, too, and there was a uh, – Fourth and goal that if Lane Kiffin kicks a field goal, they win that game. And he did. Yeah. Plus, he called two timeouts on a two point play. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> this is a safe return here. Get a bad yeah. snap here. Right over his head. <laughs> Great fake there by Lad McConkey running up like he's going to catch it and all those guys stopping. But 28 <laughs> seconds, one timeout. All right, Coach, what you call it? Uh, 80 yards, 28 seconds. Based on uh, the last couple of weeks, I would think we probably wouldn't do anything here except yeah. fall on the ball. Probably run the – Try to run that same uh, – This is victory formation right here. Yeah. Smart play, Kirby. There it is. Yeah. Well, Georgia did not play a great first half, but still does hold a lead. And just need to see them uh, pull away in the second half, get, get adjusted. Well, what we're going to do is take a halftime break. We do this uh, every week. <sighs> we pop up a stat sheet up here. You can check it out. Uh, you can take a break yourself. We'll rejoin for the beginning of the third quarter of Georgia and Georgia Tech. Bulldogs lead 10-7 to 7 
at the half. Thanks to Bud Light Next and Yancey Brothers and Athens Ford for being our partners here in the Watch Along Show. We will see you for the second half.
Zero Carbs beer is here. Introducing Bud Light next. Zero Carbs, 80 calories. Super crisp light beer. Bud Light next. Brewed for what's next. Coach, not a great half for Georgia. They do have a lead of 10 to 7, but uh, looking back at the drive chart, that's not exactly, uh, you know, yet got the ball five times. Um, One you know, punt. punt. A field goal, a TD, a punt, and then a halftime. No uh, no turnovers. Just, no. We've had some massive penalties. Uh, Crushing. 15-yard penalties are devastating. Uh I mean, yeah, you had the 15 yard. Brock Bowers converts the first down, yeah. and he gets it on him. Then Keith Ringo gets a 15 on him on a, in a pass coverage couple. And uh, Darnell, the, the pass interference in the end zone. Yeah, Darnell Washington had a motion penalty to really put us back. But the, the biggest thing is just effective use of your on offense. Of you know, we got a game plan, but you you, you got to adjust a little bit and get get things under control with your best players like. Kenny McIntosh with 11 minutes and 30 seconds to go runs 45 yards and hadn't touched the ball since. Uh, and I know he, he's got trouble with his with his thigh and everything, but you know that's something that uh, you got to be aware of. The guy's a, just a better player than anybody we got there. Edwards is a good runner, but and then uh, Mac. Uh, I don't think we've uh, targeted one pass to Lance McConkey today, have we? Um, we'll go back and, check. and we haven't thrown the ball. Uh, no, no passes to Lad McConkey. No passes over ten yards, really, except the one fade. Uh, well, Darnell Washington technically had an eleven I'm, yarder. I'm talking about throwing the ball. I know. In I'm there. just going to say, you guys will bust my balls as quick <laughs> as you can. Come on, jump on me here. Come on, get on me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, But I was saying even that one that went, if anybody was looking at the stat chart, I would say that one went 11. But remember, he ran over two guys to get that. That was yeah. what, a two-yard pass? I would have just thought we would have play action these guys out the door with our running game. But uh, You had that one to, uh, what's his name, uh, the, the Bell. Dylan Bell caught a didn't pass. Even, didn't even, yeah. He was looking the other way. Rosen I, caught the I, touchdown. I mentioned that when my yeah. first, when if you were, while you were busting me, I mentioned <laughs> that and said that the – through the one that missed the bell, but hey, we're okay. Y'all, y'all got to keep me straight. I don't. I'm just. We just suffer. know more football than you do. Coach. I'm so. Yes. You, know? you were all set up for me to come in here with a, having the cast on my face, <laughs> and and you had all this stuff you were going to use. Oh, yeah, we were. We were prepped. Like coaching here, we get to say all this crazy stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, because that's what we. That's what people want. Me and Roddy. Yeah, so exactly. they'd be like that guy went there. Well. <laughs> uh, you got some good philosophy from Coach Young about the kicking game. Hey, anything I have learned, it's at least informed by sitting beside you for the last yeah. four years. Well, I think you got to be careful here as a staff of, you know, you can give your own team a lot of discredit, but I, I got to give Tech credit with their offensive plan, Chip Long, Jim Chaney helping them of – making sure that they didn't use anything except what was the best against what we do the least. Yeah. And they really have been very effective. And then defensively, they've done just enough mishaps on uh, stop wise to, uh, you know, not give up long plays, but at the same time, we've stopped ourselves too uh, with, you know, you get those kind of penalties, but, uh, here's a, here's a chance kick. to see how what I'm saying is just say, look, this is the same team we knew we were going to be playing when we came out here today. Let's do something about it. Kick return. He ran away from the return. We were going to the left, and he went to the right. I guess it's a fake. That's a good return for us mm -hmm. out to the 28. Coach, one thing I have learned from you that I, I told someone in uh, Oxford the other day, the first touchdown that Mississippi State had, I think it took four plays, maybe five, for them to score from within the 10-yard line, but they were able to get the first down in there. And I told the person next to me, I said, uh, a coach told me that if you get the ball first and goal on the nine, that that's one of the hardest situations in the game, and it's something I never thought about until sitting beside you. Yeah. 
gonna be anxious to see how much we use Kenny Mack here on this split zone down the middle. Yeah, picked up four. Let's go. No penalties. Let's go. They she's probably talking about Coach Key was in there doing the conga. <laughs> All right, they got their moral victory now. Just blow them out. Let's send them some Bud Light necks down there. What, do you you can afford to get something without the sleeves cut off. I'm sure some the Georgia Tech. Uh, uh, oh, lost a shoe. <clears throat> That's not good. I'm sure the uh, equipment folks over there can find them something. I tell you one thing: when you take a guy's shoe off, it's, it's bad. Ohio State and Michigan. Ohio State has a 20 to 17 lead. Michigan has it on fourth and eight. There's 12 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Where is the ball? Uh, I would tell you, but they're not, they're zooming in on players and not showing. There we go. Ball is on Michigan's own 36. So they're punting. Hey, folks, when you get a chance, uh, if you're watching this and you want to help support our show, Check out yancyrentals.com. Just go to Y-A-N-C-E-Y-R-E-N-T-S, yancyrents.com. Just go, if you open up another uh, tab on your laptop or on your phone, check them out. Just see what they have over there. That would mean a lot to us personally if you would do that because we want, we just want to be able to say, folks, you know, the folks at Yancey's, we sent people there. They saw what you have. And if you go and check it out, you will have a better idea of all the neat stuff they have over there. So, all you guys like me that played with your caterpillar dump truck in the sand, you know, and, and the dirt in the backyard, you can now rent this stuff. You can rent these earth movers and dump trucks and, you know, <laughs> aerial equipment and uh, compacting things. You want to pack stuff down, you know, uh, air equipment. You, you know, if I want to get rid of that sidewalk, I get the uh, air power jackhammer over here. You know, I've got the concrete maker. I've got the uh, uh, forklifts and the material handlers and giant truck to haul it all away. So check out our friends at Yancey Rents. If you do, and if you go decide to rent something from them, let them know you heard about the free bag on the Watch Along show. They, or you can just call it the Jim Donna show. Jim Donna told me I could get a free tool bag if I make a, if I have a rental from YanceyRents.com. So check them out when you get a chance. Uh, big Georgia fans over there. We've talked to a lot of people who've worked for Yancey. They love working there. Uh, it is a huge employer in the state of Georgia. One of our fantastic uh, businesses in the state support them because they support the peach state and your bulldogs halftime in columbus ohio state 20 michigan 17 halftime in clemson clemson 23 south carolina 14 they're gonna lose by safety aren't they kind of interesting move here this guy just hit me that strength and conditioning coach here assistant strength and conditioning coach jamil walker who went to arkansas as a head guy was just fired by uh sam Pittman. oh wow very good young coach um, i don't know what happened but uh halftime new mexico state 28 liberty 7 so Auburn, how are they got tomorrow? That would really lick the bloom off the rose. We we got to look at ourselves right now and say, look, you can't play scared. Not that we are. I'm just saying, just go yeah. on and play. Play fast. This guy here had three sacks last week against North Carolina. I thought that was him. Good run, Kenny. It's going to be third and a long two. These safeties are up there on a the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Okay, Stetson. You've been waiting all day to keep one. You kept it on the pass. Keep one on the run one time. Arian Smith's in there. Maybe they're going deep. We're not getting much tempo here. No. Nah. Snap the ball usually with around 10 seconds left. I think they've been Smith on the previous play and ran off. Throw into a blitz. Free release. Better take him out. Don't don't look back. Don't look back. 
I looked back at the sideline. Just, and I was, I was thinking this was your leading receiver for like three games. That was a nice throw. That was. Let's go get him. We're See, we're going fast here. Yeah. Stetson could have kept that too. Still was productive run. Mm -hmm. Good time to run it again. Seems like a bit more energy on offense. Guys. There he comes. <laughs> Apparently that ball's really heavy. Second and six. But they can run uh, Dejan Edwards five times in a row, but they can't run him three times in a row. Fake the toss and hit Bowers. McConkey. Cut back. Good job. There you go. Wow. He's a special player, y'all. He has uh, breaks. Um, Double miss. He's just such a smart player. But I just want you to watch. He's go watch the watch the breaks. <laughs> he goes right back the other way. That's tough. And then again, to be able to go that fast, stop and go back the other way, it's just freakish. He goes to the sideline. He's resting now. They got White back in the game. Yeah. You go in that uh, tent. It's magic in there. George is averaging eight yards a carry. God knows. Very good run. Oh, that's a penalty right there on 70. There's your play. That is stupid. If senior tackle comes in there and hits a guy in the – I mean, that is so – That's like one per drive, it seems. Just keep – Knock themselves backwards. Senior player. I guess he's a junior, technically. Look at this. Trying to push the pile forward, but they're all laying on the ground already. So look at the second 20. He must be mad about there, Kirby. Except your own guy. Brock Powers. Oh, man. That Brock, sucked. bad run. Yeah. Read your blocks like he's in concrete. He's Got five, maybe. Yeah. Third and 15. Not, not what you wanted on this drive. Where's the ball? The Georgia Tech 38. 30? 38. 38. Curry said, use your head. He wants him to get a field goal. All right, cadence. Replay. We got five out of that. Hope oh. he didn't hurt that little boy. Both big players picked him up. Yeah. It's good coaching there, Kirby. 30-10 on the 33. I did a game up at UConn when Dan Orlovsky was playing quarterback. Did he was you? he was talking all the time up there. <laughs> I didn't realize he was a pro quarterback for twelve years. I knew it was. I knew yeah, he seven. played a lot in for Detroit. He was back up too, and ran out of the back of the end zone. That's what everyone remembers him for. Linebackers. All right, Arian. About time. He's two for two on the yeah, year. Exactly. So he juggled it. Not a catch. <laughs> oh, they gonna they gonna take this one off. Uh, it's gonna be about where his knee is, right? Look at this outside knee. 
Oh, feed her in. He had his knees on the line. But if he has possession of the feet in before the knee hits, that's going to be bang, bang. Oh, yeah. Yeah, feet and the knees. Give him one. He needs something good to happen. He's had every kind of injury. He pushed off, too. I got to give him that one, even though I'm a homer. I think they're probably going to stick with what was caught on the field, if I have to guess. That's a touchdown. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to overrule you. I reckon I'll let that go. You can overrule me. Because I think the knee lands on the wide out of bounds, so it's all about the foot. If that that's what we said earlier. If he has possession yeah. before that. <laughs> oh, those sleeves are awful, Roddy. Looks like a dog chew them. I was like, dude, if you're going to cut them, at least cut them good. I guess we think he's going to have to kick a field goal. Get on Aaron Smith to track that ball. Yeah. Glad to see us throw one deep. Like I was, they're going. To, yeah, he's he's going to call it incomplete. Penalty stop to Sarah. Yep. So this is about a 50 yard field goal attempt. Exactly. Got to get some rhythm here. They got a little penetration last time. 51. He's got the leg in the distance. Guy's on his way to Lou Groh's award. Right down the pipe. That should be 14 points. I mean, 14. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should have been not a four point differential. Should be 17 to 7. Lost four points there. I mean, George, if George can get out of George's way, it'd be 28 to 7. How many field goals has he made in a row now, Dan? He's only missed two on the season. Let me go back and see when that last miss was. Four for five from 50 even more. That's just nuts. I'm just blown away. So nine plays, 35 yard, or 38 yards, Coach. Four minutes and 12 seconds off the clock. But again, another penalty that just kills you. What was the... Um... So Georgia has four penalties for 50 yards. So three of those were 15 yarders. Last field goal miss was against Auburn. Since then, he's made two against Vandy, two against Tennessee, one against Mississippi State. So that's five, three against Kentucky, eight. And that's two today. Ten in a row. So that's ten in a row. How many has he made on the year now? 22 of 24. Mm. That's a... Uh, well into the 90 percentile. When is the when are those awards? Is it next Thursday or the week of the after the ch championship? Yeah, I think it's after the championship. <sighs> so we'd be on at four o'clock next week, right? Georgia yeah, and yes, LSU sir. SEC championship won't be a gimme. LSU has some players, but God, are you kidding me? After today, have you <laughs> seen their quarterback and booty and they bring, bring some pressure too. Now, I, I this is a part of the reason earlier, coach, in the second quarter when I told you I would kick the field goal because a sixteen to seven game at this moment, 
feels a little different than a 13 to 7. Really? <laughs> In my opinion. I, mean, I know that. I was. You're right. But, I mean, it's only because of the time of the game. I, I think there's times to be aggressive and times not to be. But the point is uh, what we did was good. We just had a penalty. Right. I mean, if you execute – you can do any of it. It works out. You had a out. touchdown. Yeah. A chance at one. So we'll have Georgia LSU next week. The winner of Ohio State and Michigan will play – is that Probably. Iowa? Well, it depends on who depends wins on. today. But Yeah, that game's got to be determined today. They might be playing Slippery Rock. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kansas State has to win to play TCU. Otherwise, it's Texas, I believe. Texas got a good back, man. I watched him yesterday. Bijan. He's a monster. The other thing, this guy kicks the ball like a thunderfoot on the kickoff. Can Texas offer Bijan more to come back than he'd make as a rookie in the NFL? That's my question. They can, but. Will they? Where's the South Carolina scored again? If we score four touchdowns, 28 and 13 is 41 to seven. That's still not a cover, is it? No. <laughs> I was just waiting on him to come to him. Picked up five. That's just kind of a whole hum game. Yep. I was about to say the exact same thing. I'm like, this is just a meh game. Just meh. Empty sets, no pressure. Oh, Tech's giving some gifts to Georgia. So, I wonder what Carter was alluding that's to what right I there. Was just about to ask you. He's probably telling him, let me rush. Yeah. Huge get off the field play here. Yeah. Don't give Tech any thought that they can do anything. One girl forgot to raise her pom-pom. Unacceptable. Come on, Jalen. Get heels. Inside guy right across the middle. Let him catch up. When yeah. Who played zone there? Good call, Schumann. If I was tech right now, I'd fake this spot. Just because you think Georgia's going to return it. Yeah. This is a hard guy to catch the punt. He, yeah. I mean, he, kick, he doesn't kick the ball very far. But they got they hit the ground with that end over end wobbliness. It's just, it's well, it drives. looks like they're. We wouldn't take a chance on running into the kicker here. Yeah. So you can drop. But we'll there take a chance. There you go. <laughs> That guy did what a bad I, snap. I called it several plays ago. I can't <laughs> I take credit I'm for that. But. You've, been, you've been wanting one. So there it is. What I want right now is a touchdown. Only thing we're missing there was black cat, black cat. Yeah. The thing that helps us is. That's on kicks. Uh, I'm sorry. I have a field goal. Too. Look at Marvin Jones Jr. He's like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's the anatomy of a team dropping the pass, dropping the snap. Mm -hmm. Nothing worse than a punter dropped the snap. It's a little low. He had to pick it up off his feet there. Special team, kick right. off out of the – right there, you kick a field goal, kick out of the end zone, and let's go with our best back. 
Is Milton in there? No, uh, it was Macintosh in there. Uh, I don't know why you run, don't just run that damn ball right there. I like the call as far as moving them around, but wow. Good call after first down. I mean, after a turnover. This guy here is getting more air time than Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Double screen. Inside run. Inside run, exactly. Even I can see that one. Oh, my God. You got to keep the ball once in a while. Yep. They moved everybody to the far out, far out edges. Kind of felt like that Tennessee looking offense and then inside zone run. But if he'd kept it. Late blitz. Yep. Woo! That's I, just a good job by Brock. Brock. But even better by Stetson avoiding that. Play yeah, fast. Here, here, here's your tempo, Coach. Good. Keep it, Stetson. Keep it, Kenny. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even see that number one kid come up and make the tackle. That great throw, great catch. And Bowers was actually, I mean, he still had to get the first down from where he caught it. So he turned up field. The best player. Yeah. I mean, he gets north and south. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, they, they stemmed they, into they each think, other. They think Stetson's going to keep it here. And he does. Wow. God. I thought he was too. I thought he had. Plays under review. That's a pretty good. So how run. did they know? Oh, that looks like a touchdown. I mean, you see his knees go down, but look at the ball get over the line. Dive. Ball's over his knee. Goes touchdown. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Would you go for two here? Yes. This is why I couldn't be a coach because I didn't even think about it until you asked. <laughs> I'm I would, not thinking about. I would consider week. it just because of uh, practicing that in a game. He said, "You got it." He just told him Kirby gave him a ten four. <laughs> I tell you that you talk about a quarterback play the way he played. Ball's over there. Yeah. You know, the last those two plays he made, the one with his feet and then that. Now I'm gonna tell you, you see the dirt kicking up there on his elbow, folks? That ground hard. It hurts. <laughs> it's not a game for sissies. How about you? Everybody wants a job's not getting when the Coastal Carolina coach is up for the tech job. He's getting beat 33 to 7. Well, it stands every time here. But next week we'll get them. Yeah. This guy here is irritated. Good. 
I said, did it irritate you? He said, no, I just had a corn cushion. <laughs> he won't make sure what you're saying. Yeah. No, I don't like that. I like him to go to there and look like he's confused. So now you don't have to you just gotta worry about getting it in. Somebody take care of the backside guy. Well, he's gonna put he's gonna put Bowers in motion and hand it to 30 on going to the right. He was down. I just like to get somebody protecting him where he doesn't know how to execute somebody. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's hard to do that right there. Broderick Jones, man, made the tackle. That ball made it at the very end there. Would you kick the field goal here, Dane? No, I'd go for it here. Watch a little spin here. Review that one, you yeah. jerks. Pass. Ooh. <laughs> That's as close as you get to not being one. You saw Jalen Carter went out for a pass. Yeah, I did. And that, I think that was his first target, the first look. I like throwing that. Make sure the refs can't say it was off the ground. Wow, that's, that's where that's a great where he, player makes a great play. You be sure the grass is cut low. That's like a little bounce there. Yeah, Neyland Stadium, that's an incompletion. <laughs> what did you say, Ronnie? I said, you be sure the grass is cut low there. If the grass was taller, they'd say it hit the ground. <laughs> Oof. Oh, if they overturn this, that stadium is going to go upside down. Is he asking about going for two? Are they reviewing this? He's saying do it. He hadn't caught a touchdown several weeks, has he? He had possession of that ball. It has been a while since he had a touchdown. We could have 0 for 3 on challenges here. Game of inches. Okay. <laughs> Snap it. Go. <laughs> yes. I know they reviewed it, but they might want to review it again. Hey, look in the background there. See if y'all see Justice Haynes. Did he come up? For folks who are watching where, where they just kicked that uh, extra point, that is where all the uh, uh, recruits. recruits sit. So not a huge uh, visitors list today, but there are some interesting names in there. We will have a uh, recruiting photo gallery, thanks to uh, Catherine Skeen and Jed May. They've, uh, they'll have that put together on, on UJSports.com. Check out all the recruits over there. Uh, big special teams play there, Coach, to get you a uh, touchdown. No question. So, again, I was not a huge – I always respected the special teams. You know, I covered Georgia for a long time, and uh, there was a question on the board – if you won the uh, lottery and you could rename something at Georgia, what would you rename? And we had some fantastic uh, uh, conversations on the board about that. And I came out and said I would endow the Nabulsi Scholarship for long snappers. That's nice. There would always be a every you, there'd be a long snapper with skill. And apparently, the Fricks family beat me to it. <laughs> you know, I, I had uh, I developed uh, more of a deep regard for special teams uh, when I was in college because I played quarterback, but I also was a punter and I held for extra points. So I saw all the time that those guys put in when I wasn't there. Right. Uh, you know, I just thought that the only time they did anything was when 
we did them during practice and uh, they really work on their craft, the snappers and the kickers and uh, a lot harder than I worked at quarterback. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, I, do, I, I do feel like that, please. That's awesome. you know, if you, if you have a skill that you need to uh, continue to develop, it's the, the speed of the snap, the rotation of the, of the laces mm -hmm. because it really helps the punter catch the ball with his hand on top where the laces are up yeah. instead of down. And when you catch the field goal or the extra point, you would like to get it where your right hand is catching the ball like a snap. So yeah. when the snap comes up, the laces are like my glasses here up here. And now you have your hand on the ball to throw it. Now you have your hand on the ball to bring it back and put it down with your finger. Yeah. But if you can't, you can spin it like that. But if all of a sudden it's on this side, it's hard to take it and then spin it. Right. So I used to practice catching them with one hand. I'm, I'm not bragging, but catch with one hand in, in case I couldn't get the laces and try to spin it a little bit with my left hand. And I got pretty good at it. But, boy, when he – I didn't ever have to do it much because he always – the other thing you can do is adjust your – your depth of your knee about a half, you know, six inches or up or back and the rotation, you know, where it's going to be catching it with that rotation where your knee is. Yeah. You know, if you're too far back, then it's going to turn one more time. And I'll, so that helps you too, but nothing chaps a kicker worse than you put the ball down and he sees the laces and he's Basically. trying to kick that ball to win the game. You gave me the laces. Yeah. You had one job. You gave me the laces? I didn't realize the snapper said such a thing. When you see them actually, they practice, what they call it snapping laces. The same number of rotations, same distance, same speed, same height. And they just yeah. do it a thousand times. I'm like, that's yeah. just mind boggling. So but you again, know what? it you, didn't work on that one. So George gets a touchdown out of it. The best, the best thing I ever heard about somebody talking about how much somebody practices something was when I first got to – OU Switzer said we were talking about the quarterback fullback mesh. Mm -hmm. And he told some freshman guy, I said, You know why we do that a thousand times? And I guess, you know, Barry <laughs> Switzer, <laughs> he said, Because 999 is not enough, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. How many times this year have we seen a bad mesh? Balls get knocked away, guys not being able to make the read, you know. Not riding yeah. them long enough, or not riding them, uh, or riding them too long. Riding the side. Hell, Stetson had a really bad one earlier in the year. It was turned into a turnover. Ooh, oh, ball, ball, we got it. That Go Robert dogs, Beal. Robert Beal down the bottom there. They never had the clock running on that play. That's because it wanted us. Hey, don't knock the referee down. <laughs> hey, uh, there's call a fifteen yard going. penalty on him for that. Hey, discombobulate tech. All right, let's let's start thinking. Can Georgia cover? <laughs> no, <You> can't. <laughs> Even if they scored three times, they're not covering. You're about to find out if they care. Carson Beck will get there in the fourth quarter and let her up. Sideline warning. We'll take that. Yeah. Just line up and Burma Road this thing right here. Wow. He just wasn't holding that tight. No, the helmet came in right What we're talking him. about was how good they were in turnover margin and how poor we are. Now we're plus two. Jamas Johnson with the uh, forced fumble, he put his head on that ball, knocked it backwards. He's in the running for the Buckets Award. I, this is his first year starting. <laughs> because just, he was behind another Buckets Award runner. I'm just saying it's just crazy that he came. It's like copy-paste. Fake the toss and hit the wheel to – Wow. I thought that play was doomed there for a second. Picked up five. But so I got the guy stutter step because Stetson almost started to take, looked like he was going to the outside with it and he had to pause. In the third quarter, New Mexico State 42, Liberty 7. So you wanted me to be the coach at <laughs> Auburn? <laughs> I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I'm going to get one of those better jobs. 
how'd they beat Arkansas? God. Oh, wow, that was terrible. We haven't run the outside play on a running game yet. ESPN's having trouble with this clock graphic. So therefore we are as well. We always want to see him running up the mountain, Napa. I'd love to know about Jake Fromm's Little League baseball career, too. God, right. face FaceTime. Go throw it here. There we go. There's a clock. Yep, he's throwing it. Oh, he didn't catch it? that. Oh. Why wouldn't he throw it to Kenny Mack? <laughs> Woo! I thought that was a fumble. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Get, I'm gonna drink three more of these things before we're done. Jesus Christ! Hey, at least there will be plenty of content for the post game overreaction show. I'm scared of that show tonight. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you got to get personnel better. Touchdown Clemson. They're up 30 to 21 on South Carolina. Well, if we get another field goal, we can score three touchdowns to cover. <laughs> <laughs> no. This doesn't look very good on the execution. I mean, what a hit, though. I give Sims credit. That was a hell of a tackle right there. Overloading Darnell side. Kick is up and good. And they almost got there. Kirby's telling him, hey, we want to get this guy to grow the award. <laughs> Another three field goals for him. Back to back games. We get four. He was the uh, co uh, SEC special teams player of the week last week. Looks like he's in there running for that again this week. Three more touchdowns and you cover. There you go. So three points have, of a turnover, three to, points to that, or seven to, points of a bad snap. Today we haven't run the toss sweep, the toss to the outside. Everything's between the tackles. Kenny Mack last and, week too, though. Kenny Mack does have the most yeah, carries. It doesn't feel like it last week. Ten yeah. carries for eighty-one yards. What's the passing right now? Stetson Bennett, nine of seventeen. For 57 yards and two touchdowns. You got 57 yards passing? That's it. 20 to Bowers, 13 to McIntosh, 11 to Darnell, 8 to Bell, 5 to Roseme. McConkey with none. The longest pass play has been 13 yards to Kenny Mack. Who's Aaron, got, Aaron Smith would have been more. But. Who's got the other touchdown? Bowers and uh, Rose me. Yeah. So you'd know that if you weren't sick. Huh? You'd know that if you weren't sick. Yeah, I, I remember Rose me. What was that, last week? <laughs> I will say, folks, you were watching, uh, I've been asking, you, what's Coach like when the camera's off? I'm like, it's, it's, like, it's like dealing with the Encyclopedia Britannica. He never forgets anything. It's just uh -huh. unreal. And the, the fact that you have the stats going on. I have stats in front of me. You have it going on in your head. Just My stats moment. right now are how long before this game's over. <laughs> and I'm going into the fetal position. Get a pick right here. That would be nice. Big pick Eight up. yards out of it. All right. So we put Taiki in there now. Interesting. Made a move and playing. Uh, They're going zone now? Keeley to the field and Laster in the boundary. Oh, God. 
Come on, Mond. Getting faked out a little bit. That Jaden Daniels scares me <laughs> next week. If you can't catch if you can't catch the the Akron Zip kid. A little hold here too, though. Good positioning. Yeah. Make him punt. Ducky just waiting on him. Third and four for the Yellow oh, Jackets. I like, I, like, I like that black uh, Stetson hat. He's got him. Boy, he got knocked that down small. <sighs> How close was that to being knocked down? I couldn't believe it got through there. Played zone. Yeah. All right. First down for them. Oh, that's not going anywhere. You can try those all you want to against us, but they're not going to work. They've tried it twice and lost yards both times. Probably going to do the same thing and fake it and try to hit the guy down the middle in a minute. That would be a great play call. I'm feeling a pick. Only bad thing about this game is I was hoping we could play a lot of players, but I guess – Got a sideline warning now, Kirby. Don't get five. Yeah. So where the Pittsburgh filled it, uh, Penn State coach did push-ups because mm -hmm. he got oh yeah! Christopher Smith. <laughs> you knocked it away I from me, man, Malachi. You my Malachi, friend. Like I had it. I had it. I don't think he did. Nah, he nah, that wasn't going to be a pick. But He's acting like he could have picked it off, but he had to die just to knock it down. 125 left in the third. Loosen up. It's going after Keely Ringo at the top. Robert Beal. Woo. Keely playing man. Good adjustment there, playing man under. Mm -hmm. Too deep. Guy's an athlete. Yeah. They attack Keely wherever he is. I bet this punter's feeling good right here. I'd go and go for the block here. So what if you run into the kicker? Good, Good Lord, Lord Thunderfoot. Let it roll. roll. Oh, oh Jesus. You got to let it go and try, though, right? Yeah. Okay, I've been waiting all year for this. Georgia likes to line up here and two wings and shift and try to jump, get you to jump off sides. Let's see if they do it. We haven't seen it because he haven't been backed up like this, but we'll miss it because these clowns are showing us Spencer Rattler throw a touchdown. I don't believe Clemson's in the mix. We beat them, what, 45 to 7? Watch this right here now. Watch this. Everybody don't miss it. <laughs> we'll come out of there and they're going to shift. Watch them. Two wings. They didn't jump off sides, but hey, at least you were ready for it. What the hell? What is this? I'm talking about our fans. No, I'm talking about that uh, number seven, Walter, just diving onto the pile after. I like George the, got busted for that. You give us any credit for getting that right, Roddy? I do give you credit. You want to get him? Oh, that—that's worse than anything I've seen lately. 
That's what I'm saying. So they get uh, uh, Warren McClendon for that, but it's okay when he does it. That was chicken manure. Let's get a 98-yard touchdown pass. To Arian Smith? Double move. He's up there, top of your screen, behind Lad McConkey. Uh, in front of Lad. Oh, you're right. It's Rose Mountain. You got to snap it. That's the fourth quarter coming up. Something you learn over there at deck. One, two, <laughs> three. Four. Not all the time. <laughs> So Yancey brothers got a good deal, still had to go keep it going. I guess they're close to giving out of these bags. I hope. Uh, if folks just remember when you go to yanceyrents.com or you uh, actually go to pick up something at any of the sixteen seventeen Yancey rental locations, just let them know that hey, uh, what what about that bag deal? What was that? Uh, I heard on the watch along show or on the Jim Donnan show that y'all had a free uh, bag for me, a big uh, uh, tool bag. And it's serious. This is not, this thing is heavy duty. So grab one of those, um, pick up your rental, get your, uh, you know, if you want a power generator or a, um, a truck or, you know, one of those attachments you put on the back of a truck and breaks everything, you know, all the, they have a million things out there that you can use. Check out Yancey Rentals. And it's not just Caterpillar stuff. They have stuff from everybody. So check them out when you get a chance. Go to yanceyrents.com. And again, if you haven't done that while you're watching the show, you got a, a time out here. Uh, we got plenty of time for you just to open up a tab, open up a phone, look at, pick up your uh, iPad, and just check out Yancey Rents for us. We greatly appreciate it, and let them know that uh, you heard about it on the Jim Donnan Watch Along Show. How many yards do you think Georgia Tech gained on its 11 third quarter plays? About six. They did get a first down. They lost some yards, so what did they get? One. Georgia Tech gained a yard that quarter. Didn't feel like it, though. That's, came just in, ah. They also didn't run many plays that quarter. Georgia ran 20. I sure hope I get to tell my Georgia Tech joke today, but I can't tell it right now. 23, you you so. need a larger differential in the points, right? No, I mean, it's not that say to be doing it when 23 to 7, but. I tell you, that end zone we're in right now, when we were playing tech over here my first year, and we, Josh Millard was playing nose guard, and we had Seymour and Stroud and all those guys, but their center was trying to block him, and he jumped around him and tackled the quarterback before he got to got the snap. <laughs> I mean, that just went through my mind right there. How about, big was Josh? He was big, athletic. He's six four, about two sixty. He could run a four under four eight. Well, so I remember and, the uh, speed rushes from the edge the most. He did that too, but he was just, uh, and he was one of those guys in practice that made the offense mad because he practiced so hard. You know, he would never take it easy, even when he had on shorts. And uh, you know, he played a lot in the pros. And yeah. one time they were looking for a extra tight end and. He was so fast at Cleveland that they used him as a third tight end. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I just remember I did, when you mentioned him playing nose, I'd forgotten that he played nose. And I'm Wait, thinking a 260 pound zero technique or one technique. <laughs> that's, he could play anything. <laughs> that's wild. And uh, good family. I just remember him dipping his shoulder, coming off the edge, you know, like he's trying to pick up something off the ground, getting past that tackle, and just killing quarterbacks. There's Bowers throwing the. Yeah. Right there. Go up. Plan for the trophy. Marshall leads Georgia State 21 to 17. Marshall having a good year, beating Notre Dame. This would put him at eight and five. Let's just throw it to Bowers in the flat air. Yeah. Toss sweep this way. First down, Georgia. There you go. He's still going. Oh, flag, flag, flag. There's three flags that came in. What was that, face mask? Huh? 
hopefully we don't get a penalty for the same thing. What was that? Aiding the runner. Five-yard penalty. We'll take it. You can't pull him like that. Yeah, I can't pull from the front. It's like, get on my back, big daddy. <laughs> I love the instinct, but no. Look at Brock Bowers in there. He's like, this is, this is turning into a landslide. Good play action there. Oh, that's a good throw to Kenny Mack. Air it out. You guys, a player, man. I for sure thought that, that he was will not get another snap the rest of the game. A dump off to Darnell, and then it turned into that. Might only get him for a uh, horse collar, too. I'd like to have another touchdown pass hey. for Bennett. Called it. How about that throw right over the outstretched arms? That was. Do you see the way Kenny, Coach McGee works on a deep ball here drill where the Kenny's got his weight on his back foot with his head? Watch the way it weights on his heels here to keep his head from bouncing. That's why he turned his head around. You always look up for the ball, not back. You see him look up and pick it up? Really? You look back. I would never notice it. that. Well, that's why you watch the show. Or I'm serious. That, that, that is the whole point. Hey, Kenny Mack's still in there, y'all. He's going to mm -hmm. run the ball over right tackle. Yep, right tackle. He earned his TD. <laughs> Thank God they didn't give that to somebody else. We just need two more dogs to bark. We'll turn into a blowout after all. And another one of those. Georgia didn't play well, but they yeah. went big. We've played like a good team. It's, so you get, should have gone on over to the bar at halftime. <laughs> hey, shout out to Georgia fans for, I mean, the noon kick right after Thanksgiving, that stadium was full. Nolan down there got his. Dude, Nolan's as blind as I am. You see those glasses? Coke bottles. <laughs> Seriously. How the hell does he see on the field? <laughs> see, got those good contacts in, I guess. Beautiful throw, step that was. Did he go over 100 yards now? That should have put him there. PAT 140. Is good. What's he got? 10 of 18 for 140 yards. Three. Two touchdowns. Well, this was almost another. Six is a good player. Look at him wrestling. That's a D lineman. Look at that push from the offensive line. Jeez. Hey, Tate Ratledge, Warren McClendon, Cedric Van Pran. That that's moving people. What's the penalty? I hope it's on the defense for taking a cheap shot. We try onside kick, Kirby. Per Personal foul. It was on Roderick uh, Jones, hands to the face. Kirby, I'm telling you, I don't think I've ever seen hands to the face on an extra point. These guys are practicing all their calls. Yeah. Michigan still leads Ohio State 24 to 20. Michigan has the ball just into Ohio State territory. Chance to cover and they're based on a defensive pick. I'm sorry. We could mm -hmm. get a defensive score. You yeah. got a chance. I don't think the offense will score twice more, but you never know. 
So 1345 left. They get it. Maybe they keep it uh, two minutes. You get at least two more drives. So, you, yeah, you're going to need a defensive one. James Madison now leads Coastal Carolina 47 to 7. That's a big upset. Just, just pretend you're coming down to me on the, uh, like Reese Davis got some inside information on the, on the coaches. You're asking me or, or Rod? <laughs> yeah, take team me up. All right. Uh, we're going to go down and uh, we have a report from the sideline. Uh, Jim Don, what you, what's going on down there? I got some coaching news for you from uh, Georgia Tech. First of all, uh, uh, a guy that they're really interested in, uh, Jamie Chadwell, is a Coastal Carolina. He's got a lot of uh, contacts in Georgia and coached in South Carolina. And uh, and he's really doing a good job getting ready for that uh, interview. He's getting beat 45 to 7 today. Uh, and then up over at Auburn, Lane Kiffin has decided to stay at, uh, at the uh, University of Mississippi and they focus their interests on uh, Hugh Freeze, an ex Ole Miss coach, who uh, was also thinking about going to Auburn, and uh, he's getting beat like forty-two to seven. So one of the things you need to do is don't let anybody know you're talking to these guys when they're getting ready to play a team you're supposed to beat. New Mexico State is not bad; they're terrible. I mean, they're <laughs> awful. If you think about the worst team, I mean, they might beat UMass occasionally, but Wow. I mean, you talk about a bad loss. I mean, Jerry Falwell is going to come out of his grave. Uh, uh, so I just had to throw that out there as a little uh, fun type deal. Some other coaches that are considering that tech would be Brent Key, who could do a good job. I mean, I don't think he can do any better. And what they're also talking to Paul Johnson about coming back and installing the wishbone. <laughs> JK, JK. And then. Uh, uh, also, uh, Bill O'Brien, who was a ex tech guy. What about um, New Mexico State has four wins this year? Those wins are against Lamar, UMass, FIU, and Hawaii. No, New Mexico and Hawaii. They so, lost to FIU. If they, they if they got Bill O'Brien back, would they go back to the option? Well, Bill O'Brien's a drop back guy. Okay. New he Mexico, was there under O'Leary. New Mexico State lost. What are we Missouri doing here? Week. We're trying some. No, you had to kick. You were 15 yards back. And Tech will get the ball at the 48 yard. Yeah, that's line. true, too. I missed that. And Pod Lesney with a tackle. We might see Beck. Now, who's the Kennesaw State coach I was thinking of? Bohannon. Bohanna, not Bill O'Brien. He, he's got background and option. That's what I was thinking because to me, that'd be like if you want to take Tech back to that, bring back Bohanna. Bohanna's a good coach. Tristan with the question, Roddy, what do you think about the Matt rule to Nebraska hire? I think the Nebraska's glory days are over just in this new recruiting world. I just. People got to remember that when Nebraska was in their heyday, they used to have those county scholarships where they every county in the state of Nebraska would give a walk on a scholarship and then their fifth year instead of being on scholarship they would uh, go to work for Lincoln National Bank and they would pay for their scholarship and then give another one to somebody else so they they had like two or three scout teams all the time working against you and uh, used to make us mad you know you got I am hip uh, from Columbia South Carolina as a walk-on running back. So they had their regular number of scholarships plus the walk-on scholarships too. This is a run, just, run, run. I don't care how good your coach is. I just don't see you be able to get a ton of top talent there like you used to. No, you're not. You, a, because first of all, the way to get to Lincoln from – uh, what's the name of the capital? Omaha. Yeah, you go to the first tree and take a right. <laughs> I just say <laughs> it's. I mean, I mean, some of the teams that used to be uh, Wisconsin used to get great players, but now Wisconsin's struggling. It's just the, the yeah. I think they might be going to hire a defensive coordinator that they moved up. 
Yeah. Jim Leonard. Get a sack. That was That's a- kind of like a sack. All right, I'd go for the punt block here just to practice it. Just to cover the spread. He said it's going to get chippy ding. There it is. They're getting a little. Well, at this point, Georgia just needs to turn around. Like, Tech has nothing to lose. Does Jalen Carter look like a bad man? Look at him. I'm just telling you. Dude, go for it, Jet. Go for it, Coach. He looks like a white oak. I think. Stetson might have seen his last days. I, I, the way he's sitting over there on the sideline. I, I won't believe it until he's not on the roster next season. I'll find a way. Jalen Carter is edge rusher. My God. He pushed off, too. Yeah. Turnover on I down. I think it's what Keely Ringo turned <laughs> Hey, give the defense credit there. They got the ball in the 50, and I don't think well, they get one yard. That's what you call a cover helper there. <laughs> Two more touchdowns and maybe they took Stetson in for one play and let him run off the field and give him an ovation. That would be classy. Hey, we've seen enough of this guy. Now the guy keeps showing us the damn cut off sleeves. And him. Fourth quarter. <laughs> that's, that's still in there. It's a good run. Big up six for Kendall Milton. Let's go fast. I think he's going to run the clock out, coach. End of the third quarter, Jeez. Michigan 24, Ohio State 20. A lot of teams pulling from Michigan. Ohio State will still make it if, with a one loss, I think. I'd hate for them to be fourth and we had to play them, though. God almighty, that's that's enough. Powers McConkie up top. Or Milton up the middle. There you go. That's twice he's done that in three games. One more. <laughs> <laughs> this seemed impossible. Anybody would have taken the second half, they probably would have won. Good for you, Kendall. Showed a little burst there, too. It did. <laughs> Roddy's like, I don't care if they bleed 10 minutes off the clock and it's one thirteen left. You put Carson Beck and Arian Smith in there and you let her ride. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't try to score 66 against Missouri. That's, that's just – that's bad juju. But if you're running it and they don't they don't want to tackle you, well, then you just keep going. Uh, Beck's in there. They'll throw it. Yeah. He needs, he needs to practice. God, he almost missed it. Eleven minutes to go. West Virginia twenty-one. Oklahoma State nineteen. Yeah. So anyhow, (laughs) (laughs) the Oklahoma State hate is just gorgeous. They hey, did. Look, my hands I did. are cold. Can I just warm them over the hatred you have? I did. I did hear last week that you know that that place that uh, they play their stadium is called uh, the Cowboy Stadium, or also they named it for that investment guy, T Boone Pickens, Pickens, Pickens Field. But anyhow, they found three guys there in the stadium had been playing hide and seek for eight years. And they finally found them. <laughs> Three OSU guys. And this uh, is this is a this is not a bad joke, bad word here, but the bas- the basketball arena here comes the F bomb. Is called uh Henry Iba Arena and there's about nine thousand people that can Said to a game, 
So do you know the difference between a porcupine and Gallagher Iba Arena is? With the porcupine, the pricks are on the outside. And Gallagher Iba Arena, they're inside. <laughs> <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Roddy's gonna be cocky all, all I season be now. I He's gonna be that swaggering one through the spring. Look at me. Look at Nine thousand of them are inside there. Yeah. <laughs> they were asking me on the radio one day what was the coldest game I ever coached in, and it was two. I played in one at Iowa where I got in a fight with a guy on the sideline for a hand warmer that I that I had taken up there because I was a punter and he was trying to get my hand warmer and I, we, we started arguing over and we pushing each other. We never got the blows cause I wouldn't have done that. Uh -huh. And then we, we played uh, Oklahoma state in 1985 and what they call the ice bowl started sleeting and raining and then icing and the stadium just had a glaze over it by the time we got to the stadium and, one of my really good moves from a coaching perspective was I told Switzer because they had us dressing in Gallagher Iba Arena. We didn't have a dressing room that big enough down there in the stadium. And I said, let's just loosen up in here in, the, in, here in our socks and uh, go out there right before kickoff, and then we won't get wet because we didn't have any – you know, any more uniforms or anything. And so we didn't even go out to warm up or anything. We just came just out straight there to the field one minute before the kickoff. And our guys were, you know, we got through like 10 minutes without getting soaking wet, you know, and that's jumped wild. ahead of them. It was a good move. That was smart. So there was a 140 non pricks in the Gallagher Iron Marine when we were dressing <laughs> up. <laughs> South Carolina is now taking a lead on Clemson. I tell you, old uh, Shane Beamer's done a good job. Any way you look at it, um, I did not expect he's to selling it. the selling the Kool Aid, and they're buying it. Well, in state, I think he's out recruiting Clemson. I think more of the high profile South Carolina kids are picking South mm -hmm. Carolina this cycle. Well, they're honoring the senior. Um... Good for them. They deserve it. They work uh, hard. Those girls train. Yeah, they do. Um, I forgot what they're called, though. Let's get us. They got 17 in there. Watch him running. Michael, stay to the outside. Stay to the outside, Michael. Uh, you didn't. Oh, little Dive dude. bombers. There's no Everett in it. We got our second yeah. team defense in. Uh, Daniel Siskavana was got not going to cover. For the second straight season. I know Dalen's going to pick, pick six here. Georgia, they're not gonna, I know they're not going to run it. I mean, not going to throw it. For the second straight season, Georgia will go 12-0. and 0. The last regular season loss, you're going to have to go back to 2020, the COVID year, Florida. First down, Georgia Tech. That was a good run. I just hope Georgia fans do take the time to realize how special it is to have. Back yeah, just back think about it your, in your years. lifetime. I mean, how many teams go undefeated? Dave told us this in our group chat, but when was the last team to go undefeated regular season back to back? Alabama won. I mean, George. I as I'm dropping my you mic, get a pick here, pick or hit from behind. Look at Bear Alexander with the pressure and Bill Norton with the <laughs> stop. What did you say? It was 24 um, 20? 24 20 right now. Michigan leads Ohio State. What are you calling there? Intentional grounding. These guys are getting everything. He was being chased and just kind of chucked it at the ground. Michigan has a second and goal on two and a half. Norton. Bear can move. Bear was flying. 
wonder if any of those Texas A and M D linemen are going to get in the portal. I believe they are. Georgia has a – Georgia will be watching the Texas A&M uh, entire roster. See if any of those guys go in the portal. Bear again back there with some pressure. Wow. Marvin. Big play. Marvin Jones Jr. was over there in coverage. Coach came up and stopped. Oh, he's limping, though. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't take me out of that. Go out, man. Don't be a hero. All right. Touchdown, Michigan. Oh, snap. Well, my good friend Drew Wilson, big Michigan fan and great Georgia trainer, have a double win today, maybe. That's going to put Michigan up 31 to 20 with 13 minutes left in the game. So still a lot of time, especially with that Ohio State offense. Here's the thing. What if if Michigan wins this, they'll have back to back wins after that streak that Ohio State had. Uh-huh. Yeah. Plus, Ryan, Ryan Day's had his team in the playoffs. And plus he, Ryan Day gonna be they're gonna be down on him. That's what I'm saying. So you have a coach that's got your uh, uh, team, you know, as one of the top four in the nation, but you've lost twice to Michigan. Which is the thing you can't do. That's what I'm saying. It's like you know, it's like the Iron Bowl. It doesn't. The rest of them don't matter. But yeah, you win that one. Well, you look at where Coach, you know, brought Georgia back from from the pits that it was in. You know, like but uh, lost uh, lost to Tech. God, we can't have that. It's like you know, it's you're right. If you lose the game, bad things happen. So I'm not saying you know you'd be on a hot seat, but the, just the, the amount of shine that would come off Ryan Day. Well, now Tech is not even like Kirby's taking that to a different yeah. echelon. I'm saying that they, I don't even see the point in playing the game anymore. I don't you, either. I if, really you, don't. if you could get another, and I, people are, well, I hate him. I want to beat him. It's an automatic win. I'm like, I get it. I've been closer to this uh, rivalry than you can be without actually playing. You know, I've been to damn near 30 games. Uh, but I'm just saying, if you could have a, a Permanent home game for the last game of the season. You know, you're paying some uh, some smaller team to come up. and Because last week, everybody had the uh, cupcakes. Get your cupcake in the last week of the season. We got one. We got two next year. We got who? Uh, Ball State and who? Ball State, um, Tennessee Martin, and UAB is not a complete cupcake, but it's also not a – not a uh, – UAB is a tough team. Yeah. UAB played pretty good last week for a little while. Against them. Mm-hmm. I give them- but that Ball State game was a replacement for not playing Oklahoma yeah. after Greg Sankey said don't be doing that because we have to get them in the conference. And they're going to get in all these commercials. Let's go. Looks like we've been in a commercial break for 17 minutes. Hey, that same kid that was throwing the ball earlier, did y'all not move tailgates? Of course they did. They got the two shots and went along their way. I guarantee Shane Beamer's getting a new contract. I hope all those people are UJ Sports members over there. By the way, folks, if you're not a member of UJSports.com, we're running a promo through this weekend. $22 for your first year. Use promo code RIVALS22. Get him down. He's just going backwards. Sherman? DJ Sherman and uh, Michael Williams. It's like all the linebackers met in the backfield. All right, put Karras back there. Jalen Walker with this end move. And he got held <laughs> really badly. Put Karras Jackson back there and let him return a punt. Mikel got screwed out of one last week for hands to the face by somebody else, right? Yeah, that was. He still tweeted out. I mean, put it on TikTok that he got sacked. Great punt. That's Makai Muse returning. He's fast now. Watch this little boy. He is tiny though, but he can fly. Get it back over the fifty. 
Good for him. He was at uh, – now I'm saying, y'all look at him next to everybody else. He's like Isaiah McKenzie size. Here's the touchdown for Michigan. Ooh, what a run. They're playing ball up there. They've had like four or five deep passes they've hit on Ohio State too. Well, that guy plays too much man coverage. I could see him putting Stetson in there for one play and then letting him come out. That's Carson Beck in there. I know it is, but hey, you're I, saying I, I can man. see, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't saying to you. I was saying to our audience. All right. But Del- they, they didn't do it. Delvin Arian Smith. I guarantee moment. this guy will air it out. He ain't worried about anything. It's Rylan Goody in there. Come on, Georgia. You got a chance to cover. I told Chris Felica we would cover. He didn't believe me. I'm never right on that stuff. I don't know. Chris Felica holds you. Uh, for those that know, he's a bear on the ESPN Game Day Show. Chris Felica holds you in high regard. He takes your uh, advice when he puts up his numbers. Yeah. He, the other thing he does is ask me during the game what's – there's Muse again. God knows we're going to have to punt. Erickson couldn't get out there. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here, folks. Hey, that's probably your starting quarterback next year, maybe. I've been told for two off seasons Carson Beck was going to transfer, and he stuck with it. Good for him. It's going to be an interesting uh, race next year to see between. We ain't talking about it yet, Roddy. I'm just saying. They're going to hit this guy in the backfield. Watch him. Call me in February. Jeez. I, I just got off of Stetson and JT. You can't be getting me into Beck Vandegrift. Jeez. Let's see, it's Beck Vandegrift. Stockton. Ooh. Portal. <laughs> but you don't know who might go. You notice Alabama's not on this graphic. <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> I mean, there is like a utter chaos scenario where if they just have to find a fourth team, Bama's probably in the discussion, but uh, it, no. Oh, they went for it, Coach. Yeah. Get up and go, boys. You only got 38 yards for <laughs> to make you right. <laughs> I don't want to be right. I just don't want to be wrong. I mean, <laughs> don't want to be. I mean, I'm like, he said, you, you've you been sick. Why would you think you know? I said, well, <laughs> I didn't know. I was <laughs> fair. I think coach quit. That one coach got fired because for health reasons. Alumni were sick of him. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You got him. Boom. Look at that. Oh, my God. Cash. Make a play, Cash. He's got a cannon. I'm getting that. <laughs> they all want it. That's when you have to buzz your hair before the postseason. Needs to Quavius to come back. I think you just lay that up there. <sighs> Cash got his bell rung, but popped right back up. He's a tough kid. What are probably having? They'll score and miss the extra point. Push. Here comes Blitz. There you go, Corey. God knows. Why are you trying to keep the ball? Darren Franklin asked, Coach, if Satterfield, uh, would Satterfield from South Carolina – go with Matt Rule to Nebraska. I don't know if they have a connection from the past. Well, he coached He coached the first year with Satterfield at uh, at Carolina Panthers. But I would I would think South Carolina, if especially if they beat Clemson, they'll try I mean, to keep the continuity. They yeah. hadn't done much offensively to the last couple of weeks, but here's the thing. Carson Beck, you're in there to hand the ball off or throw it. God. 
of all the worst plays you could run to hurt yourself, Carson Beck on a zone read. So both teams have lost a fumble. So turnovers are even today. But well, they had the one play that could be construed a turnover on the bad snap. But yeah. Turn the – gee whiz. While we're uh, – I'd like Vandergriff to come in there and let him see what he can do too. If you want to do a run zone read, <laughs> let that monster do it. While we are making fun of Hugh Freeze and Liberty, we should also praise Jerry Kill, head coach of the New Mexico State Aggies, for pulling off that upset. Yeah. You sucked all year, but you won that one. Hey, that's I mean, a hard job. It is. I know. That's... I'll tell you, New Mexico State's stadium, I had to do a game out there because I think they wanted to do me purgatory. And <laughs> it's, if you can just – you make somebody mad the assignment no, If desk? you can just imagine that their press – their stadium goes like this down, and then there's a press box on top. But they don't have an elevator, so you got to go up these mountains. And I didn't know that they had uh, these uh, golf carts to take the press up there. So I got out of the in the elevations. I got out of the uh, car and walked through there and talked to the coach and started walking up there. And I said, "Holy moly, <laughs> yeah, so the big it. one!" I got out of the big one here right before the game, the New Mexico State. I would die in New Mexico. And uh, finally get up there. I'm talking, thinking to myself, holy smoke. And uh, so, so any, anyhow, they had this, this girl sideline reporter was a soccer player, and she wanted to kick some extra points and field goals for a thing and they said coach can you get down there and hold them for i said are you kidding no, me? i'm not leaving from I where said, i'm at i said i'm not gonna go down there to after the game's over i said well we'll send a cart for you i said a cart where was it when i came up <laughs> so i went down there and held and she she barely got it over but she kicked it over there you go. two things that suck in this world if you've never experienced it, I hope you never do. Being seasick, you, you want to kill yourself, and having the altitude sickness. Yeah, that that altitude, man, that just messes with your head. It's definitely it's a good place for a pick. I'm for you, girl. We're gonna to have to play a lot better to do that than we did today. Yeah. The team is not giving me a lot of warm and fuzzies about their chances against LSU. We're just throwing some bait Ooh. out. Chance for a cover, Carson Beck. Did the same thing against UAB last year to a pick six. Did they bring their car over? I haven't seen a shot of the Ramblin' Wreck car. This uh, guy here lined up offside. Don't press, man. Yep, and there it is. That's exactly what he did. <laughs> I don't even know. who is that Singletary? That's Humphrey. It is? I thought that was Humphrey. God. Yeah, that's Julian Humphrey. That's right. But you called it before you saw that he was online in man. This game's like a McDonald's hamburger. It'll feed you, but it's not really satisfying. I wanted a steak. What are you doing, running a 3 2 1 right now? No, I just want a steak. <laughs> I want a steak today. You know, you just go out and get a good win. Nobody gets hurt. You're, you're watching LSU film by, by dinner. You had a line about a preacher's daughter in it. The other oh, day. That, was, that was a good line. We didn't quit, Tech. That's what they're going to say. I don't know. Illegal receiver downfield. Yeah, ineligible receiver. 
Coach, someone in the chat has a decent idea. They said if you bring Stetson out for one play, let him throw to Luke Bennett. That'd be all right. That'd be a good be a nice gesture. Brother to brother. You're talking about brother, the Lucky triplets, Mike Lucky, son Lawson. Mm. Have you seen him on tape? Yes. Good lord, what a player! I know Alabama's. And been you know, trying to we work had him. a lot of people say that Georgia's taking him because he's a. If anybody's saying <laughs> that, come on over here, and I can kick your ass right now. On, <laughs> I, if anybody thinks that guy's not a player, doesn't know football from Jed Clampett. We try to tell them, we're like, hey, what? Here's the tape. Here's the video. Watch this I mean, tape. come on. Change his name to Smith, and you. I'm nothing you go against after people, him. but anybody. I mean, you could take, you could go to a rest home and and uh, ask somebody that's playing checkers to pick out a player on the tape, and she'd pick that guy out. What a player he is. He, he's the same kind of athlete as Brock Bowers. Maybe. I don't know if y'all seen Pierce Sperlin, the other tight end they're bringing in. He's also a monster. Reverse fake. Oh, oh. oh this, come on, Taiki. Taiki, there's a reason you lost your spot. Oh, don't be jumping over the top. Hey, that's allowed now. Remember number Game seven did it. Banana. It's called the jump on the pile and see if you can harpoon. Maybe. I can tell you this without any reasonable doubt. I'll bet you that this is a fake play action pass. Go for the touchdown. Bunch them up and fake it and throw it. Oh, Michigan just tried a 57 yard field goal. <laughs> Make it? No. no. They missed it to the left. Timeout, Tech. It's good Kirby going to talk to him there. Put seven in. Seven. Three minutes left. You're going timeouts. All right. So, Georgia's path. LSU next week. If that's a win, you'll be right back in Atlanta as the number one seed. Playing, we'll find out. And then Los Angeles after that. Do we have what do we have about 300 yards, 325? Total yards for Georgia 377. Uh -huh. The way that breaks down, Stetson Bennett 10 of 18 for 140 yards and two touchdowns. Kenny Mack 86 yards rushing and a touchdown, 96 yards receiving. Half back pass. Wide. Touchdown tech. Right. You called it. I didn't call half back, but I mean go for the touchdown. Yeah. Good call, coach. Go for one, yeah. That's salt in the wound. Yeah, it should have covered with without the uh fumble. Great play. David Daniels. But you guys tear up the edges over that one. <laughs> they start tearing up the uh, hedges. I think that fan base is going to come rushing out this time. Georgia Tech's coaching hire is going to be interesting to me because, I mean, the new athletic director came from Alabama. Don't know if any of those ties are going to mean anything. I'd say slam and none for Brent Key. I, I mean, I think he'd be deserving, but you don't fire a guy and put somebody on your staff. A head coach normally when you've been so dismal. Now they've turned it around and they've had they beat Duke, Pitt, and uh, North Carolina. Who else did they beat? Uh, Western Carolina. They beat them when they're 
the other coach. Clemson, 97 yards away, Roddy. I love it. Kirby going to be mad about that score on the offense. Defense played great second half. Really did. I mean, think about those first three drives, nothing. You know, you got a, a turnover, and uh, they got the ball. Remember they had the Georgia scores a touchdown. They get on the 50. The ball stays on the 53 plays later. The four plays later, later Georgia takes over on downs. Onside kick. We call a timeout just to tell them what they're doing. We'll wrap up pretty quickly when this game is complete. Uh, but before we do, we do need to thank our friends at Bud Light Next and Athens Ford and Yancey Brothers. <laughs> we cannot do this show without their support, and we're really grateful for them. Uh, they'll be with us for the postseason. And, folks, uh, swim by uh, Athens Ford. If you're looking to get a new vehicle, especially if you want to get one for somebody for Christmas, uh, hit them up. Because of their, the stuff they're doing with the Angel Tree is fantastic. So hit them up. And also, you know, we've mentioned the, our friends at Classic City Eats. They've sponsored our sh show before. They sponsor our Tuesday podcast. Uh, lots of times they feed us. Uh, if you check them out on Facebook, it's a great Facebook page to follow. You see all their specials and such. But they have 10 families over there that they are buying Christmas gifts for, and they could use some help. So check out Classic City Eats on Facebook, and please volunteer to be want to help them uh, take care of the Christmases for these 10 families. They've, they've done it for a bunch of others, but they got 10 families. They're going to kill you this way this time. Lad. Oof. Roseman grabbed it. Let old Vandergriff go in and yeah. run the couple. All right. Do y'all want to play the game? Which team scored the most points on Georgia this season? I know that. It's a tie. Yeah, I mean, Kent State and Missouri, right? That's it. 22 points. <laughs> Georgia Tech scored more than Tennessee did. He got Carson back in there. They're going to have 18 guys tackle this guy before he even gets to the line of scrimmage. I look up in there, all right there. They got a yard. <laughs> Use your timeouts, Tech. Coach, does Auburn have a shot in Tuscaloosa? Long shot. I thought. I thought this guy's done a good job, Cadillac, but got to be the Jimmys and Joes at some point. All people are talking about whoever gets hired has got to keep him. It's always tough to keep an interim head coach, too. Cause, you know, you're trying to go in there and get the team on your side and they're comparing everything. Well, if Cadillac do this, Cadillac, Cadillac was giving me some tires and need some tires. <laughs> Oh, love – look at that big old pull. God, what a bad run. Tacklization by the grass. If you look at the rosters, Alabama should win easily, but I would have told you that last year, and I think Bigsby doesn't step out of bounds, Auburn beats Alabama last year. But that was in Auburn and not Tuscaloosa. Warren Erickson there, number 50. I want to give him some love. This guy's had a good career here. There's some starting, some backup, but just a good team player, good leader, great on a kick team. It's good, uh, uh, just the kind of player you want for Georgia. Give him some love there, Warren Erickson. This guy uh, wearing an LSU hoodie for in Sanford Stadium. He's Check. just trying to get some scout. He's a guy dressed as a scout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's texting. Uh, I mean, he's dressed as a student, but he's scouting. He's trying to get her starting snap count. Yeah. He's sending some stuff to Brian Kelly going, hey, this is what they're doing. I also see uh, Chad Lusenberg's in there. That's a guy that came in from uh, Texas. Good guy that's – years, Chad. You've been here a while. It's pretty bad when you beat somebody 37-14 and everybody's – you your sophomore. Ugg has even got indigestion over this game. Yeah. 
I for a game you. that saw the first first quarter just bleed away <laughs> this last three awesome. minutes taking forever. Kirby said, what would you like to eat tonight? LSU steaks. Clemson has 99 yards passing today, Coach. For a touchdown? No, just 99 yards. Oh, I, I, he had said they had to go 90. No, I'm just saying like – South... Do they have the ball now or what? No, South Carolina does. Maybe two first downs away from... – Two first downs, they could probably put this thing. Kirby's away. asking Stetson, "What would he do here?" <laughs> He's like, I, "These third ones, I love keeping that guy right in. there." No, make a read. And now this guy in the Alabama hoodie. Now he see he's actually an LSU scout, but he just doesn't want. He's trying to make it a little more. Uh, <laughs> he's undercover, but he couldn't wear Georgia colors because then somebody might ask him. <laughs> he's talking about a scout. You, you're not supposed. You can't scout in person anymore. You used to good, but. After I left Marshall, Marshall was going to play WVU. And a WVU coach let a GA drive down to Huntington in his car. And the car was parked outside the stadium. They're practicing in the stadium, you know, a D tag on it. Yeah. And so they, one of the policemen told the coach, there's, a guy, there's somebody car from up West Virginia. He looked up and this guy was sitting in the stands watching the practice. But Jeez. he can't, you know, he, I mean, why would you come in the, with the, I mean, you so talk, stupid. I mean, inconspicuous, <laughs> be inconspicuous or something. Hey, Hertz is ready when you are, man. Come on. <laughs> Victory formation time. We caught it. We caught a guy over in North Carolina one time sit, up in the library sitting over there. And, uh, one of the librarians saw him over taking notes, looking out the window he would, from another school. Um, and that's a ball game. Georgia beats Georgia Tech 37-14. to 14, Undefeated regular season on the way to the SEC championship. Only won one SEC title under Kirby Smart, so that's going to be a focus, I think. Always is, but... Gant getting the uh, up-close and personal shots. So what was uh, Bennett's record in the stadium? 13-0, and 0, I think. Is that good? That seems pretty good. Seems like I'm going to review Kirby. I think they're cutting to their next game pretty quickly. Yeah, I want to see Minnesota and Washington. <laughs> well. Bill did a great job. Thank you. I'm Jeff's neighbor. Yeah. Jeff Have you been back there long? Yeah. yeah. About the second half. Out. It's no I didn't game. even know your back deck would have made it giving you some love. <laughs> Well, we're still on the air. Love is being good. I think you told me not to say anything. No, nah, we come on here. Let's give you on the get you on the air here. Uh, I don't want I've I've got my name posted in the post office. <laughs> you see yeah. what we do here? That was pretty good. Oh yeah, damn good. I, I mean, you keep. Much. I we know a hell of a lot more than those guys on the TV. What? This I, is true. I would certainly. Should we say good night, Gracie? We'll see you folks later. Y'all.